Razani. Hi everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to me too. It's been a while. Um, well, since 2021. To everybody. <laughs> um, I am Love Kaomi. I, I, I don't think everybody knows me, but I think everybody knows me by now. Um, if you guys are new to my readings, you're more than welcome to actually go through my other readings that I did in 2021 and then see if maybe you could find some messages or find anything that resonates with you, anything that's going to help you receive a bit of clarity. And I hope that my voice is clear. I hope I hope the sound is magnificent right now because I don't know. But um, I've been delaying this reading, and well, for one reason, I wanted to do it in January, but I decided that I'm gonna do it now, um, in February, and specifically after the second of February because we've been going through some interesting changes this year hey um so i delayed it so i can actually get started now in february because i felt like i would probably channel some really nice messages um which goes along with actually what's happening so we're going through a two 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 portal um right now so it's quite interesting it's really really interesting um Okay, before I get started, I just want to let everyone know that I am available for personal readings. I mean, it's been interesting because, you know, I've already started, you know, and I've been receiving such beautiful and good news for people. You know, like this year is taking care of us, guys, like on the real. At some point, I did a reading and one of my clients was like, this is too good to be true. I'm like, mm -mm, it's not. So probably some of you, when you're listening to this today, you're going to think, ah, this is too good to be true. Like, no, it's not. Okay. So, um, you're more than welcome to go on my, uh, on my page. Okay. Prophetic readings and scroll down and you'll definitely find some information about how to get a personal reading. Um, you can use messenger or use my email prophetic readings eight at gmail.com okay um and there's still the what do you call it the competition nobody has really participated so it's still available the only time i'm going to change it is when someone actually uses the opportunity so clearly people are rich <laughs> clearly people are rich people want to pay for the readings so great okay great but otherwise it's still available the the free reading is definitely still available so you guys are more than welcome to scroll through go to that competition it's definitely like down there but i'm going to share it again so that it's much closer for you guys um but it's definitely still available so anybody who can't afford okay to get a personal reading but needs guidance um you're more than welcome to participate it's really simple okay and you'll definitely get your short reading um your free short reading so okay so now i'm going to share a bit of information okay um about the little bit of phases that we've been going through i'm not going to share too much um you guys are more than welcome to research on your own because i feel like it's also better for people to research things because then it expands your mind and you get to choose what you resonate with okay so, okay, so I'm going to start with generally 2022. So 2022 is that year, 222, right? Um, 2022, 222 basically adds to a number six, right? So number six is known as a number of harmony. So this year, why it's so exciting, it's going to be quite harmonious, okay? Um this is where 2020 had started and everything felt like it was literally falling apart because we went through the phase in 2022 where there were extreme changes in our lives like extreme changes you know um with 
the pandemic and everything in between. But we went through extreme changes and those extreme changes has, have led us to this point now in our lives. So now we're at 2022 and 2020, well, 2021, we were adjusting, okay? We were adjusting from 2020, trying to figure our way out, trying to figure out, okay, how do we move forward? What is it that I need to leave behind? What is it that I need to change, okay? So we were adjusting to the changes that were happening to us. And this was happening in every way, spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, you know, everything, psychologically, everything, every aspect of yourself was just transforming and it was changing. Um, so now in 2022, um, we've reached the stage of harmony where whatever it is that we released um, in 2020 and we adjusted in 2021 we're basically fully becoming in 2022 so now this year is more about new beginnings this is where um our transformation is coming into fruition what is it fruition <laughs> so we're reaping our seeds we're reaping our seeds we're reaping what we sowed um basically everything that we manifested upon uh, throughout the changes we're going to be receiving okay fully six times ten times million times hundred times okay not even just double like we're past double now you know god ain't just doubling our blessings we're going extreme so this year is going to be extreme um and it's going it's going to go according to what you've done guys you know sometimes we get upset that oh people are getting blessed i'm not and when I, and really you should be asking yourself how have you contributed to your changes how have you contributed to your blessings and i always say that it's very ignorant to keep praying for something you're not preparing for so you're praying for this you're praying for that but you're not preparing yourself for it you're not shifting your life around to make space for it um you're not doing the necessary changes even within yourself to actually um, be in the right state of mind, spiritually, mentally, um, and everything else, you know, everything you can. You haven't prepared yourself to even receive it. So obviously, God or whoever you believe in, your higher power, your ancestors or whatsoever, they're not going to give you a blessing you're not ready for. You know what I mean? So um, now we're at a stage where we're receiving whatever it is that we were preparing for, whatever it is that we were... Um, you know adjusting and changing our lives um you know basically we are going to be receiving accordingly okay according to what you deserve all right so but don't be jealous of other people guys people have been putting in the work sometimes people think people get things easy oh no you know they're always getting everything always getting easy that person is just putting in the work you know and their ancestors or god itself blesses them accordingly according to the hard work that they put in um mm. <laughs> but anyway it, you know it, it, I, I what i'm just saying is that don't look at other people's grass water your own grass don't look at how green the other person's grass is because people don't have it easy um you know people might not always accumulate um what they have in the most innocent of ways um and we have no place to judge it is not our place to judge how people get to where they are um but what i'm saying is don't look at what other people are doing focus on what you need to do so you can get to where you need to go you need to focus on your life path you need to focus on your purpose okay you need to focus on your soul mission all right what you supposed to be doing in this lifetime okay so that you can accomplish a better life for yourself so focus on yourself, mind your own damn business. Okay. All right. So today I'm going to be doing a reading. I'm going to be doing a reading. Oh my God, when last did I use my... I'm using my computer. I normally resonate with the number two, but right now the path three caught my attention. Well, you know what's so interesting, Zane, is that... Okay, I don't know if you know how to add your life path because how you add your life path number is you actually take your birthday, like the day, the month, and the year. You add your birthday and you add the numbers until the last digit. It has to be one digit left. 
right but what i'm what i'm saying is that you the fact that you're interested in two life path numbers you might find that um the second one that you're interested in is probably your past life okay i think it's it, it could definitely be your past life number so if you find yourself interested in another life path number that is not currently a life a life path number in this lifetime you could find that it actually resonates with your past life okay so if you're interested definitely go for it and take a look at what it means okay take a look at what it means and see how you resonate with certain things about it and then maybe you'll just find out to hurry you a you were that person in your past life, you know. Um, cool. I hope that explanation kind of helped. Because I really do believe that life paths number um, in this lifetime, um, they basically, you know, do connect in a lot of ways. Along with the past lifetimes, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's get started. Whew, okay, today I'm doing 12 piles. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm doing 12 piles. Okay, so it's going to be life path one till life path nine. Okay, and then the three special ones are going to be life path master number 11, life path master number 22, life path master number 33. Okay, so these are just people where they were adding their numbers together and it led to a 33 or 11 or a 22. Okay, and obviously, when you add those to a single digit, it still <laughs> leads you to the normal group. So, but I do want to highlight those three specially because they are special. Okay, so we must treat the special kids like what they are, you know. Um, not to say Guti you know they are more special than other children but they are special so <laughs> so you know um we give credit where it's due okay everybody came for a different purpose it doesn't make you less than anyone else all right so i want to share this information right before i get started so in january we started with our new moon on the 2nd of january right um which was a new moon in Capricorn, right? And then uh, on the 17th of January, going to the 18th of January, we had a full moon. Okay, wait. Did I say new moon? Yes, a full moon, right? A full moon in Cancer. So on the 2nd of January, we had a new moon in Capricorn. Uh, and then on the 17th, going to the 18th of January, we had a full moon in Cancer, okay? So, it was already interesting. We know that we went through a lot, guys. Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I felt it. You know, I felt, I felt 2022 when it was entering. It was like, okay, you know, we're about to give you something big, so we need you to make big moves, okay? And that meant literally having to speed up certain things that i was doing and you know and also just um changing my perspective having a paradigm shift um you know and sometimes just facing my demons one-on-one -on -one. so <laughs> so um it was quite a lot of things man it was necessary things that needed to happen okay so but yeah january that new moon that full moon it literally put us in the corner the way we needed to be put in the corner okay um as much as it didn't feel fair most of the time all right but okay so now we're in february february and um, we have um we have we have our what do you call this we had our um, our new moon yes we had our new moon on the 31st of january going to the first of feb okay so it was it's mostly highlighted on the first of february but it started on the 31st because remember we're all in different locations around the world so yeah time frame so but from the 31st of january to the first of feb it was a new moon okay um and yesterday on the second of feb 
it was the first 22222 portal okay um so i decided that i'm gonna wait for the 222222 <laughs> the portal to actually open up so that i can channel the nice things that are coming just so we can get that magical touch okay so i'm here today i'm going to be sharing those good news with you guys i i not to say there's no bad news you know where there's good there's bad all the time but i really do want to sell i do want to highlight mostly the celebrations okay um i love to celebrate um and i believe to always have a positive um you know uh, spirit okay and then the full moon that's coming in february is going to be from the 16th going to the 17th february okay that's going to be our full moon so february is going to be very epic guys it's going to be very special it's good it's it's going to be big okay this is the beginning of beautiful amazing extraordinary things i cannot emphasize that enough if people are trying to hold back your blessings steal your blessings it's not going to happen i am here to tell you all the people that are trying the only thing they can try to do is delay you and delaying you means using you against yourself okay so if you don't wake up that morning and do that goal then no one is going to achieve it if you don't go and put in a cv you're not going to get the job so it's mostly just using you against yourself making sure trying to make sure that you don't accomplish your goals you don't um you know you're not determined enough you feel demotivated you're lazy you're procrastinating da, 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 that kind of vibe but to steal and to take and destroy they can't do that this is the year where god is protecting um its children i like to refer god as a it <laughs> because it's god is universal i can't really say a he or she well in my perspective but this is the year where the divine you know god the higher power the ancestors all together they have teamed up in our favor to make sure that we are protected and everything that belongs to us comes to us accordingly okay let me just say this is the year the divine shows up and shows everybody who the hell they are I cannot emphasize that enough i've been channeling and having messages through from 2020 2022 coming now and i i cannot say this enough because in 2022 going to 2021 there was a lot of spiritual warfare okay between darkness and light okay and the spiritual warfare is actually about restoring balance it that's really all it is god the higher power the divine is all about balance okay because we know that systematically in this planet, we've been um, consumed by so much darkness. So the light is balancing things out. So this is why so many people are going to be receiving a lot of blessings, a lot of, um, a lot of abundance, okay? And it's going to look like a shock because for so many years we've been complaining and struggling, okay? Because we were consumed by all the dark forces that were trying to feed on people and steal from people and destroy people okay but that's over that's over i am so excited i don't think i can explain it i am so excited guys um definitely excited okay i'm going to give you some highlights about what the 22222 <laughs> portal is about okay so the first 22222 Okay, it's like five twos, guys. Ne? I'm not going to say all of them. I'm going to say the two portal. Five, it's five twos. Okay, the first one was yesterday, which was the 2nd of February, 2022. All right, let me show you. I don't know if you're going to see it. Okay, so the first portal was yesterday, the opening. And then... The second one is on the twenty, uh, the twentieth of Feb, twenty twenty two, okay, and then the third one is the twenty second of Feb, twenty twenty two. All right, so we have literally the the five twos appearing three times in this month, along as we have had a stomach. We've had a new moon, and we're about to experience a full moon on the sixteenth, which is 
basically before the last um two portal okay so no coincidences ne i think you guys get me there's no coincidence there's no such thing as a coincidence and crazy because the time <laughs> my time literally said 22 to okay 20 minutes and 20, 22 seconds all right so you guys you feel me you feel me okay zane oh yeah my number is two just did the calculation actually i'm a 11 so i'm special yes zane you're special we're going to treat you accordingly sir <laughs> <laughs> we're going to treat you accordingly the special ones the special beings okay so look at that actually today we're talking about 222 and just your master number is two Kuri, i feel like life path number two people are going to be experiencing some magic this month i can't even hide it you guys are the chosen ones <laughs> you guys are the chosen ones life path two you guys are taking over this this um this feb so february is your month guys february is your month okay before i even do your reading i'm t i'm telling you um but definitely um so anyway the five twos when you add them together two 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 right it all adds up to a number 10 so number 10 is a number of completion this is where we went from endings to new beginnings okay so exactly what i'm saying that this this month is a start of great things there is no way there is nothing stopping you you are unstoppable you are untouchable you are unbreakable you are undefeatable you are everything you want to believe you are at this point okay even the impossible okay is possible so definitely we are at the completion guys we're at the finish line number 10 is the finish line okay you guys have taken the steps from number zero to number one going all the way up to number 10 okay so you guys are receiving your new beginnings this is this is you like this god is like receive the divine is like receive your ancestors are like receive your angels are like this is you receiving because you've put in so much work through and through and through and through okay i'm so excited okay so let me highlight some of the char the, the the characteristics the highlights that are going to be happening with this portal okay um, some of you have probably already experienced all these changes and all, you know, this shift happening. Okay, so this is just information that I got in general, you know. And I've been sharing a lot of the posts about the portal. And you know me, guys, I share information. What you do with it is your responsibility. Use it is you misusing your power. And just know that what goes around comes around. Hmm. Anyway, balance harmony adaptability okay um diplomacy collaborations coming together um coming together would be now things coming together and also just connections making connections okay that you need at that time and place in your life there'll be changes new structures coexisting not dependency so you you guys are going to be um getting rid of attachments and growing more in coexisting so growing in your connections um support so there will be new support systems even old ones will just be elevating growing um partnerships yes a lot of partnerships so i feel like a lot of the relationships we have together with the people around us are going to be growing and not only is it going to be growing together but growing us individually so there'll be unions with twin flame connections and soulmates Ooh. so if you feel like you're a twin flame and you have a twin flame and you guys are not together this is probably the year where you guys are going to find yourselves together okay and if you are together you guys your relationship is going to be elevating um same thing with soulmates if you um okay so the thing is with soulmates soulmates guys soulmate is someone that could be a friend a family um what do you call this a lover okay whatever your child whatever so a soulmate is someone you share a soul path with okay it's literally sharing a soul journey so please don't put it in a box and be like oh no it's just a lover it's it's broad okay so a soulmate is someone that feels like they're destined to be in your path and someone that actually makes you um walk according 
in your life path okay people who bless you along the way people who grow you along the way people who um raise your vibration along the way that is a soulmate okay um not pe people who bring you down people who delay you people who abuse you people who are narcissistic and whatever that's a comic relationship okay so what i'm hearing is that they, a lot of comic relationships are going to be destroyed so if you've been struggling with releasing a relationship that is toxic okay you're going to find the strength to do it you're going to be releasing a lot of toxic relationships um so as we were talking about releasing attachments because karmics are um built on attachments okay so you're going to be detaching from those unhealthy re relationships and even yourself you could also be a comic guys we could all just be comics just based on the kind of character we choose to become the character your personality that you choose because you're an individual and you choose okay so you could also just be detaching from your comic um behaviors your traits um okay and you could just be transforming and becoming a better soulmate <laughs> and a twin flame relationship a twin flame relationship is basically <laughs> two people that share a soul and they're brought into this world to serve a purpose which um brings about unconditional love okay so they on a soul mission together um basically destined by 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 um by the divine it's written in the stars um the one relationship that is inseparable so um having a twin flame there's only one twin flame connection you can't have more than one um and it's actually very rare so it's not everyone that has a twin flame connection as well so it's all i'm saying this only for people who feel like they do have a twin flame okay and they've always felt because it's more of a knowing feeling and not more of a questioning feeling it's not like oh my god is it is it that it's more of a knowing you know and bumping into that kind of information most likely it's it wants you to it wants to trigger that information into your into your blueprint okay so um twin flame connection could also literally be anyone it could be a lover it could be a family it could be a twin some people who are born twins okay especially identical twins you find that they are twin flames some of them um yeah it could literally be anyone your child whatsoever okay but you guys are here for a purpose okay you're here for a purpose and this year you're going to serve that purpose accordingly because not everyone has been easily finding the relationships that they need which is what we describe as your soul tribe so some people are still searching for their soul tribe and i'm here to tell you that this year you're literally about to um you're literally about to create a relationship with your soul tribe Ooh, i'm so excited for you guys i'm so excited soul tribe we deserve it guys we deserve to have all the right people in our lives okay um okay so as i was reading um reunion so you might be reuniting with the people that need to be in your life ne? don't take back the toxic ex guys or the toxic friends or the family member when we say reunions we don't mean we don't mean that okay leave the past behind what you need to re whoever you need to reunite with has to be someone who is um at the phase in your life where they are there to teach you something valuable or you're actually there to grow together because there's nothing wrong with reunions it happens um creation new beginnings peace miracles divine timing truth shifts in perspective so there'll be a lot of paradigm shifts just how you perceive and you look at things because they always say that um the problem is in how we look at our situation um more than it is about the situation we're going through okay um so you're going to look at your life more differently the things that you go through the reason why you go through things you're going to be looking at them more as lessons than it is about the fact that they're challenges okay they're not there to break you they're there to build you um wealth and health on all levels Ooh, good news good news after good news after good news after good news dreams coming through breakthroughs and transformation ah i'm happy I don't know about you guys but i'm i'm happy i'm i'm very very happy okay let's get started before i start talking too much let me save it for the reading okay so i've already pre-shuffled i shuffled the piles from one to twelve 
because there was no way I was going to be shuffling here. We would have finished. We would finish. Oh, it's like ten, ten or one. That's cool. Um, we would basically finish at like three, five hours. Not even three, five hours. We'd finish, in, and I'm not about to sit here five hours. I'm actually gonna make these readings short. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys want. Okay, you know what? Let me just read. Because I'm on the internet and I opened, it's like short information. It's like short information. Okay. So we're going to start with life path number one. Life path number one. Okay. Life path one. Hi. Okay. We're going to start with life path number one. Okay. Caring spirit, independent nature, and innate leadership capabilities. On a bad day, I can. <laughs> on a bad day, one can be a bit bossy or boastful, hiding any insecurities behind overdeveloped self-importance. One must remember that although it is first, it can very quickly become the loneliest number. Even the most auto autonomous ones need the support of their friends, family and love. Showing. I shall have faith that it's showing. Okay, so that's life path number one. That's just a highlight, guys. Um, please go research in detail. Go through all different, because, you know, this is one website. But go through different, you know, things in the, in the Google and look at different opinions. So, Mark, look at different opinions and the highlights about your life path number. Okay. Hmm. Okay, live part number one. Yo, I'm still finding my camera. It's been a while since I used this. I hope you guys can see. Okay, I hope you guys can see. So anyway, live part number one. Live part number one. Okay, what I'm also hearing is that you guys are going to ace it this year you guys are about to ace it this year you are going to shock people i don't think you understand you guys are literally about to shock people um life path one because you guys are the first ones must in the pyramid <laughs> in the pyramid you're the first ones in the pyramid so um when you look at number 10 right like i was talking about um, this year adding to a whole number 10 which is a finish line so you guys started from one and you literally got to number 10 okay and when you add number 10 one plus zero is a number one so you guys <laughs> you guys you guys are literally resembling um, your blessings are, are, are resembling where you started okay so you started from the bottom and now you're here literally that's that's the quote that i'm hearing you started from the bottom now you're here and it's going to shock you it's going to shock people because it's going to be the kind of year where you probably put in that job application in 2020 and then suddenly you get a call in 2022 and you're like wow i thought actually that call was not gonna happen i thought i had given up i didn't think i'd, I'd get a job or whatever whatever it is and boom it came 
so it's about to be that year where everything you had manifested and it seemed like it wasn't actually doing anything it's literally coming to life okay you guys anyone who has like spirit babies you know these are my spirit baby cards okay i literally did spirit baby cards for everyone you know in case you have a baby <laughs> So if you've been a person who's been praying, keep praying, okay? So what I'm here to tell you is that your prayers are not going unanswered. Everything you've been praying about is coming. It's coming, okay? Probably starting this month, all right? This 2222 portal is about to bless you, my love. So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope this year is about to bless you accordingly okay all the struggles that you went through that people were maybe people were laughing at you for having certain goals people were looking down on you and like she'll never make it you know people didn't believe in you and it kind of like tore down your self-esteem all right um as much as you know as they say life path number one can be a bit blissful and kind of look like they self-independent self-importance because of their self-importance so maybe people kind of like tore down your ego because they didn't make you feel as important as you wanted to feel. Okay, but I feel like it's also a year where you're going to learn how to actually, um, when to know to, to be confident and when you are being arrogant. Okay, um, this goes a lot with, because you know how people are always, I feel like you're the the kind of toxic way you're always cutting people off okay you're always cutting people off there's nothing wrong with cutting people off in fact it's very healthy but there's a level of toxic where you are never the wrong person so every time someone does something wrong to you or whatever you feel insecure about the relationship you have with the person you always just cut them off ah, I'm ah i'm cutting them off ah, da, 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 da. okay so you need to be very careful about that okay the the thin line between between confidence and arrogance okay um but definitely talk to god and your angels about how you feel so your most high is listening your divine the ancestors you know your spirit babies as well if you're pregnant and expecting a baby your baby is telling you saying face your demons get straight on and face your fears okay but i'm also hearing that yeah i'm also hearing that this year is the year where you're going to be fearless okay um you're definitely going to be fearless about the things that are coming towards you because sometimes we don't we don't talk about how we're actually more afraid of our success more than our failures because failures are places where we get comfortable we get comfortable with always expecting the worst right but we don't talk about how we are actually afraid of succeeding because the more you succeed it means more challenges the more challenges it means maintaining that level of success so sometimes we're actually afraid of the work it comes also afraid to be successful because it makes other people feel small you know the envious the jealous type um who always want to downplay your successes okay so this year you're not going to be afraid of what people are going to say about you you're not going to be afraid um so you're going to have more confidence okay you're going to have more confidence because eric of ego and it, we do it because we're trying to mask the insecurity we're trying to appear like something we're not okay so confidence is from a place of spirit a place of faith where we know that we are highly favored so when you move you move according to your faith okay so this year you're going to be experiencing more of your faith hence they saying tell God and your angels how you feel so you're going to be moving with faith and not your ego okay um, but you definitely at the finish line, okay? 
you started from the bottom now you're here and you're going to shock yourself going to shock yourself because for so long you also lived in fear okay you lived in fear for so long and ask asking for help is a sign of courage not weakness <laughs> look at that did i not talk about oh by the way i didn't i didn't see i didn't see the cards um in advance i don't I, I i also wanted to be surprised so there was no way i was going to look at these cards in advance so i'm also just a surprise so anyway you see the one and the one so you power one and one literally came twice for you so as i was saying started from the bottom now you're here from one to ten okay so basically asking for help is not a it's a sign of courage not weakness so this also goes and highlights exactly what i was saying about you being confident so you're going to have a lot of courage you're going to be very courageous about what you do how you do it who you do it with you're going to be definitely confident about the steps that you take look you're not going to be shaken about who says what trust me but don't be afraid to ask for help tell god and your angels how you feel so even if the help is not directly from human beings <laughs> from people that you know you know um because i know that it's not always easy to ask for help because of the people around us people don't always help us for good reasons okay they want us to be dependent on them they help us because of toxic reasons okay and some people actually just help us so they can you know plan for our downfall so but it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help praying about it is not a sign of weakness okay you telling god that okay i don't know what to do now please help me it's not a sign of weakness okay asking for guidance is not a sign of weakness you know listening to this video is also asking for help watching this video watching this tarot video okay this reading is guidance it's i'm literally just here to remind you about something that you feel deeply within yourself i'm not here to tell you what you don't know okay so it's not a sign of weakness that you're watching this video to get some guidance to get confirmation it's not a weakness if you have to go and see a therapist about your issues it's not a sign of weakness if you're getting help um from anyone that you need and that is genuinely willing to help you okay it's not a sign it's not a sign of weakness guys if anything it's courage to ask for help it's courage because then we get to be vulnerable and the world makes us feel like we're not allowed to be vulnerable but really that's what makes the world go around so and also i'm hearing don't be afraid to help other people that's how your blessings are going to come okay be a helping hand to other people reach out so god is going to bless you and you're going to bless other people all right four of arrows all right this is four of arrows okay so i'm hearing a lot of business for you so life path one a lot of business is going to be coming to fruition and i was talking about the job application that you put in in 2022 and you didn't think it would come so it's definitely coming um so someone is going to be definitely getting an email you can you can tell me you got it <laughs> You can message me and tell me you got it after this video, okay? Uh, but otherwise, somebody is definitely going to be getting... I do see that email. I do see that email. Um, I'm also hearing some of you are with this. You guys are designers. You make clothing. You are creative. I'm here. Basically, you guys are makers. You use a lot of your hands. So, I'm hearing you're a designer. I'm hearing you're a painter. I'm hearing your a like sculpture. I'm seeing someone who does like sculpture or engineering. So maybe you make like cupboards and furniture and stuff like. I'm <sighs> out and you make furniture and you and stuff like that. You do engineering. I'm hearing in the future if you are a builder and you've been doing maybe you're doing a course of engineering, and you see yourself building like extreme things um like bridges and all of that i'm hearing yes you are gonna get hired to be in a company 
that is in a high position. Well, dang it. Okay. You probably make bags as well, some of you. Or pottery, or you make like those pottery what what's. Um, but you're divinely guided. So remember I was talking about how you're highly favored. Look at this owl. Okay. Can you see that? That's God and your angels, your ancestors. Okay. So you're definitely divinely guided. Don't be afraid. Excuse the noise. They're doing gardening. And look at how calm you look. You look like you have so much faith, like you're not phased, you're not shaken. You know what I mean? So this is the year where everything is going to flow for you. It's absolutely going to flow for you. Okay. So don't be afraid. Let me actually read these mini messages. Let me read these mini messages. Okay. I like to read these. Well, occasionally I like to read these. And I never really memorize them. Eh? I'm too lazy. What is this? Four of arrows. Contemplate your blessings. <gasps> you guys. You guys are blessed. Contemplate your blessings. So spend your time thinking about your dreams coming true okay have faith that your dreams are coming true okay get rid of this this no longer belongs it has no place in your life contemplate these blessings you're about to get shocked you're about to shock yourself when you don't live in a space of fear trust me miracles begin to happen abundance begins to unfold in your life okay so i'm hearing in this pile i'm hearing a lot about job opportunities your career is going to go sky high you're going to be in a very high position and most probably okay so if you don't have a job you're going to get a job if you do have a job you're probably going to get a better position and some of you if you're trying to get a new job even though you already do you are going to get it okay so that application is not for nothing okay Attachment, letting go, restriction, fear. And I spoke about this. So you letting go of attachments, those codependent relationships, you letting go of that, you're releasing all of that. The toxic, the karmic, those bonds, trauma bonds, you're releasing all of this because it no longer serves. All it ever did was cause you fear and make you feel like you have no place in this world. It made you feel like in fact, it actually made you feel like there was no one to help you. Because all the people who did help you were only plotting to bring you down, okay? But little did they know, God got you. Your angels got you. Your ancestors got you, okay? So release and let go of these attachments. Let go of the people that don't belong in your life. Those friends, those, the, the, the family members, the relationship. I know it's hard, but do what you gotta do okay because sometimes we don't get the blessings that we need because of the people that we have some people carry negative karma some people are just bad luck guys and you have to admit it some people are just bad luck you'd be around that person and you'd actually realize Uti, every time i'm around this person things don't go right for me i always get in trouble or i lose things I, you know like just bad things happen when you're around certain people so even your blessings get delayed even the things that you need to do in your life don't happen because of that person's karma because of the amount of bad luck and negative energy they carry it ends up swallowing you okay um this is a number eight so definitely abundance coming your way this is a number eight so abundance and number eight is a number of abundance so there's a lot of abundance once you 
detach yourself once you release these people once you let go okay as it says letting go restriction because you're restricting yourself and fear once you let go of these fears the restrictions and 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 these attachments okay and you coexist you create connections that coexist okay as you had seen two 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 portal is all about bringing the soul tribe um that uh, the, the soul tribe that you that you need in your life okay okay and then i'm going to read these mini messages accept their true colors and let them go guys i cannot lie <laughs> I cannot lie, okay? I cannot lie. Sometimes these readings get me excited because I'm just like, okay. Because before I start, I'm also just like, okay, guys, shock me. You know, like, okay, guys, just shock me, surprise me. Cool. So also when I read these things, I also get like surprised and shocked because I'm just channeling what I get. Bold and brave. Ooh. So this is who you're going to become. You're going to be bold. You're going to be brave. You're going to be contemplating those blessings and they will, they're going to be coming to life. Okay. And people are going to be shocked. Like, where did they get that confidence? When did they get that brave? Where did they get the courage? You know? So you're about to be bold and brave. You're about to have the courage that you need. Okay. Protection and protect, oh, protected and protective. Okay. Remember when I said that nobody can take anything away from you? I meant it because you you hmm? ah! okay because you have this and that's why you must always keep contact keep um communicating so keep those prayers going Padla, pray meditate cleanse do whatever it is that you need to do protect yourself in ways that you know how but just know that you were protected and everything that belongs to you that you're meant to receive your abundance is also protected the only thing that can take it away from you is fear the only people who can delay you is those attachments you built the people you don't want to let go but you are deserving you're going to receive these opportunities you're going to receive so many opportunities and it requires you to be bold and to be brave to have the courage to ask for help when you need it and from the people that are your soul tribe the people that are meant to be in your path so you need to accept people's true colors and let people who do not belong in your life go okay but you are at the finish line you are going to get everything that you deserve okay all righty all righty and that was just about it yeah okay like i said these readings are going to be short because there's a lot eh? there's a lot so that was uh life path one i hope that resonates it's so exciting because i wish you guys would like okay some of you do wish you guys would like come oh my god what you said about life path one i got the job I'm like yes i definitely celebrate with you guys okay okay now we're going to life path number two okay let me see if there's any comments so that you guys don't think i'm ignoring you i'm not ignoring you okay Life path number two. If Zane is still in here, Zane, this is for you. <laughs> if you're still in here, this is for you, Zane. Even if you're not here now and you come back later, this is for you, okay? But life path number two. Okay. Let's get started. Life path number two. So I'm hearing a lot of okay. My mom is also working online that side. So if you hear a bit of noise, excuse it. Né? She's also on a live. So anyway, number two, number two, number two. Um, getting a lot of jewelry, a lot of balance. Um, you guys are going to be balancing the scales in your life. So if maybe you were so caught up, um you are so caught up on balancing a lifestyle um or balancing a relationship 
or just generally balancing yourself okay you're going to figure out how to to actually find harmony okay you're going to for example if you have two jobs or you're creating a career by starting your own business while working and you've been struggling you are going to find a balance between the two okay so I'm also hearing that if you are working and you've been planning to start a business go for it okay don't quit your job until you have built your business according to the way you want to build it okay so use the I'm hearing use the tools that you get to get to where you need to be okay I'm hearing you're going to be getting a lot of opportunities some of them might not even be the kind of opportunities you really like but they'll be brought to you for a season just to contribute to where you want to get to or more multiple streams of money two or more it's so crazy oh my god look at this Pile two. Hey! So you're going to get those two multiple, uh, multiple streams of money. <clears throat> multiple streams of money. So you're going to have two or more ways. You're going to have two or more opportunities um, on how to make money. Okay, like I said, one could be working. Um, for someone else and then the second option is to start a business okay and then I'm seeing a lot of live performances for people I don't know maybe you guys are musicians performers um, could be dancers actors maybe you do the the theater theater maybe some of you are in radio um, But I'm hearing that you're going to have a big audience. So whatever create is bring in, even if it's your own business, you're going to be getting clients. So don't be discouraged by what you see now. Don't be discouraged by the results that you see now. You are going to have support. Support is yours this year. You are going to be highly supported. You're going to have a big audience. You're going to have a lot of clients. Your multiple streams of money are going to bring more money. Okay. It says many a man keeps on drinking till he has an accord or either a, his back or his stomach. So I'm feel, I'm hearing that you've been feeling like everything that you've been doing has been for nothing. Maybe you feel exposed, vulnerable. Um, you feel like you don't know where to turn to. You're not sure which direction to go. Or should I turn this way? Should I? If I go this direction, am I going to get a coat? If I go this direction, will I get the t-shirt that I need? If I go this direction, will I get the shoes? Okay, so I'm hearing that you're going to have many options. Um, and the only thing that's going to direct you on which way, like which way to go at that time in your life is literally just your intuition. So there's no, there's no consultation <laughs> that's going to tell you what is the right road, uh, what is the right direction to go at that phase in your life. So you're going to know. You're the one who's going to know because you're the one who has goals. You're the one who has dreams. You're the one who's trying to accomplish um, all these things, okay? I'm hearing you as someone that... Um, okay let me just read enjoy being outdoors so if you have babies this is a spirit baby message Ooh. okay never mind <laughs> never mind because i forgot in the first pile i did this but i forgot to actually talk about the gender but maybe Maybe the reason why I didn't tell the first pile is because the second pile probably will be expecting a baby because not everybody is going to be expecting a baby. Ne? So pile two, if you are expecting a baby, 
it might be a boy. And your baby boy is going to love to play outside. If you already have a child and your child loves to play outside and all of that, you know, loves being outdoors, this is just a confirmation about you. But you might be having a baby boy, okay? Um, but I see that you also enjoy being outdoors. So if you ever feel like going out, go for it. I'm also hearing take those walks. Um, it's probably more meditative for you. So every time you have imagine, oh, I'm hearing that when you have, when you're having like daydreaming moments or imagination, that's actually signs and that's actually messages. So you're going to be seeing which way to go and how to go about it simply through your imagination or what feels like daydreaming, okay, um, or so-called deja vu, right? So, if you've been questioning, where should I go, what should I do, pay attention to the visions that you have. Um, obviously, your dreams when you're sleeping, but also during the day, we also have, you know, the, the, those moments where we actually get guidance, but we think, oh, maybe it's just in my head. No, it's not in your head. Okay. Those are communicate. That's communication. Okay. Um, the divine the most high is communicating with you all right so when you take those walks outside I'm hearing you're going to be getting a lot of clarity you're gonna have those those moments where it's just like you know those messages are gonna come so take those walks be outdoors be in nature I'm hearing nature loves you or you love nature okay but also perhaps the ones that are guiding you they love it when you go in nature okay because then there's more silence um and silence enough for you to hear them basically so listen to the messages okay pay attention um do more of what you love as you go about your day notice what gives you energy and what takes energy away and drains you do more of what gives you energy and what you love to attract more energizing opportunities okay i'm hearing the world is in your hands And really all it takes is to do what you love in multiple streams of money <laughs> so if you love more than one thing you are more than welcome to do more than one thing okay so if you're an artist um, for example maybe this is someone's brilliant idea right now that I'm, I'm, I'm narrating but uh, for example, maybe you're a musician and you're also a photographer or maybe also a designer or whatever it is And you've been thinking about starting a brand of your own where you get to put together all these ideas Okay, um, and make it into like a whole business because you are the brand don't forget you are the brand every talent every gift everything you are good at every skill is you you are the brand okay so if you've been thinking about creating a brand and putting all this mismatch things that you love okay what you love putting it together literally okay i'm hearing do it do it it's going to work out in your favor do not question it do not doubt it i'm still here oh zane Okay, I hope I hope you hear me, Zayn. I hope you hear me because wow. Okay, so I suggest Zayn that you watch this one, okay, which is the life path number two, and then I'm also going to do um. I'm also going to do a pile for master number eleven because you did say that you calculated to an eleven, so you're probably gonna have messages on life path two and life path master number um eleven. Eh? So, hmm, Karuena, your life is lavish, hey? You're living your best life, Zane. Okay, so do more of what you love, okay? Those creative ideas you've been thinking about putting together into a whole business, into whatever, do it. It's going to come, um, it's going to bring good results for you, okay? Three of stones. This is the support I was talking about. Do you see this? People are buying your product. People are participating. People are watching your work. People are supporting your work. Um, people are coming to watch your performances. This is the support I was talking about. So you're going to get the support that you need through your multiple streams of income, not just one, all of them. Your brand or whatever it is that you've been thinking about 
um, doing, the things that you love, collaborating, um, it's all going to work out for you. Um, so if you're someone who has a business where you're selling, I'm hearing some of you could be selling food, some of you could be selling jewelry, some of you could be um, selling books, maybe you're an author, some of you could be teachers, maybe like your tutor, um, maybe you sell services like that, maybe you're a healer or a reader, a tarot reader like me. Um, and you sell services um, I'm also hearing if you are a healer you might be someone who makes products so if you've been thinking about making products for people um, go for it so even if maybe you're a musician or whatever and you've been thinking about making t-shirts or cups or whatever bottles go for it okay so stop making those products um, people are gonna buy them design yeah design them they're going to they're going to buy them and they're going to be worth so much okay let me read this three of stones gather together that which is needed exactly gather together that which is needed so put together everything that you need, everything that you love, okay? That plan, put it together. That business plan, start writing it today, okay? Whatever it is, whether you're a baker, you make food, whatever it is that you're doing, go ahead and put it together and it's going to come into fruition. It's going to come to life, okay? You are going to be supported. You are going to have supporters, look at this this is so crazy achievement you're going to achieve this this is destined for you this is a number 17 which is an eight hey number eight today guys abundance abundance is here okay you're going to be very abundant you're going to achieve this it says keep focused on your dream so all you need to do is you need to focus you you need to make sure that you do what it is that you need to do oh my god oh that you do what it what it takes for you to actually put together everything that you need to put together so but you're going to achieve this because i cannot lie you are going to achieve this you're going to be abundant okay number eight Um, I'm also hearing the 17, probably maybe the 17 of this month, something good might be coming for you, which is l literally after the full moon. The full moon was, oh wait, the full moon is from the 16th going to the 17th. So during this full moon, during this full moon, set up your goals, maybe write down your goals in a journal or even until then. You know, write down your goals and start prepping to what it is you need to do. And probably your first opportunity or the first result is going to come after that full moon. You're going to be seeing um, quite a lot of results for yourself. So don't be afraid to go ahead and... Whoops! Okay. So probably the 17th of this month, some of you may be receiving something. Your first form of abundance. Okay. Might be money. Someone could buy your product for the first time. Okay, you might even have an event on that day. Okay. But keep focused on your dreams. So what I was saying about you daydreaming as well and your dreams, you're going to be getting a lot of messages. So focus on that. Pay attention, write it down, jot it down. Whatever messages you get, okay. Those are guidance. That's guidance spiritual okay so you're going to it this year is going to require you to be deeply in touch you need to be more spiritual about the things you do the, the decisions you make okay which is why it highlighted being in touch so whether it's being outdoors being around babies being around animals but you need to be in touch okay you need to be more sensitive You need to be more connected to yourself, especially. So, but I'm also hearing you're very spiritual. 
you're very spiritual so as i was talking about some of you that you could be healers okay could be healers maybe you provide services of being a healer and all of that okay so that's being highlighted so your spiritual journey is going to grow you are going to grow within your spiritual journey okay whether it's a calling whether it's in Duaso, whatever you are it's going to um it's going to grow okay sacred connections oh this is so cool guys i'm so happy for you you sacred connections the support ah uh, guys i cannot lie <laughs> all right cleansing consults okay so if you need help go ahead um and consult but like i said uh, the consultation that you do get don't expect someone to tell you oh okay go left no go right no oh, no take this decision no take that decision because even when you go to consult guys you need to understand when you go to consult you are going to clarify information yes you will hear some things maybe you weren't aware of um but those things derive from the things you had already confirmed for example if you go and you consult about who's doing what to you okay your intuition already knows who it is by the time you get there they're just telling you maybe how they do it you know um so there's a just confirmation so when you go and you consult go with the understanding that you are not there to ask for something you do not know you are there to confirm to confirm the decisions that you want to make okay and also it's just also maybe to get guidance to have a cleansing so some people, maybe you might need to go through a process of cleansing, like literally, you know, a traditional cleansing, you know, um, to break soul ties, um, to cleanse your karma. Um, maybe these things you need to fix in your bloodline, generational traumas, generational karma, um, generational curses. Um, yeah there's a lot of reasons so yeah so but you need to go through a cleansing process okay if you know how to cleanse yourself go for it do it okay but this is just the year to say that get in touch with yourself okay so that you have more clarity about the 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 decisions or the direction you need to go because you have the opportunity to have multiple streams of income multiple streams of money you have the opportunity to put together what it is that you love what it is that you're good at and basically put it together into this big sphere this big circle this this uh, bundle of light okay and it's all gonna go right and it's gonna go according you just need to be spiritual about it you need to cleanse yourself to prepare yourself and you need to welcome the right connections into your life because you're gonna have a lot of sacred connections that are going to be supporting you immensely okay so I hope you are ready all right pile two arise all right pile two okay all right thank you pile two now now i'm gonna be going to pile three this is probably the quickest version of reading that i've ever done well in terms of like individually okay so now we go into pile three pile number three okay pile number three okay so pile number three i'm hearing pyramids maybe you might be going to egypt <laughs> or maybe you found egypt but traveling i'm hearing traveling um somebody might be traveling take me away <laughs> life out there you definitely might be a traveling you might be a traveler you might be an astral projector like when you say tra when i say traveling i'm not just talking about like you taking a flight and going no you might be a traveler in the spirit your ass <laughs> sorry you 
you might be um you might be like sleeping and everybody's sleeping and then you out here traveling in the spirit you know out here traveling into different portals and different dimensions okay but you might be an astral projector you might be a, a traveler in the spirit okay traveling to different realms and dimensions so i'm hearing that life path number three some of you might actually be like star seeds or light workers or people that are from other planets Ooh, interesting so some of you might yeah might be from another planet okay um and you're here to save the world thank you for showing up <laughs> thank you for choosing us planet earth <laughs> we appreciate you but if you've been feeling out of place or you feel like you don't fit in and you feel like um you're different you know and you feel like a helping hand you're always oh my god guys i forgot oh pile two i forgot to read for pile two can't the pile two Je already started for pile three what must happen okay but it's fine um what i'm going to do what i'm going to do for pile two um at the end of the video i'll try to remember this but i'll definitely try to put that bit of information but originally what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this information anyway so anyway but anyway let me read for pile three before i forget like the rest oh my god Okay, pile three. They say pile three communication is, guys, English Mara, is paramount for three. Okay, symbolically, three represents the outcome of two joint forces. It is the essence of creation. It is highly gifted at expression, seamlessly sharing innovative and pioneering concepts through art, writing, and or oration or oration <laughs> your work inspires motivates and uplifts others and three finds great joy making others smile however three is also known to be quite moody and if it feels like if it feels misunderstood it may withdraw entirely the escapist tendencies of three is easily meditated by practicing peaceful mindfulness with such an active imagination it's important for three to mind to find moments of quiet to reset and restore and recharge all right okay but to zane zane why didn't you tell me that i didn't read I didn't read the information on the internet for pile two how can they <laughs> okay but we move we move we move okay so as I was saying about pile three um, as I was telling as I was saying about pile three is travelers you guys are going to be traveling so even with you traveling maybe you are a motivator a public speaker um, so you're gonna be traveling and inspiring people motivating people speaking with people um you could even just be a psychologist um i'm seeing you on a stage though i'm seeing you on a stage um you could be an earth angel um so you're really literally here to help the planet um and that's actually what how three had said entirely about how you inspire people and you motivate people so you're here to change things around with your existence that's great okay so this one says dreams okay so I'm hearing that you definitely have a lot of dreams that you want to accomplish like you have ideas that always show up in your dreams 
so be very aware of that be aware of, be very aware of your dreams because remember i did say you are a traveler probably an astral projector so you might find yourself traveling in your dream state but you think it's just a dream but that's actually happening so you might be interacting with other dimensional beings through your dreams so be very aware of that because they might be bringing you messages or tools or ways or just literally grooming you, training you um, to become greater and better at your gifts on this planet. Okay, but focus on your dreams. Your dreams have messages and they're going to be exposing about who you are, where you are going and what you need to do. Okay, um, but I'm hearing that you do have a lot of dreams in terms of like goals um you're motivated to to accomplish a lot in this lifetime hey. um, uh, so you might have like big dreams the kind of dreams that feel impossible like oh i want to have a charity home or i want to build a big school or i want to have a psychologist um firm or a lawyer a law firm okay so you could also be studying law um but you're the kind of person who works i'm hearing you work with justice you are you're all about fairness okay um opportunity knocks live from a mindset that you are safe and cared for it will open up options and opportunities that you will not see if you operate from a oh eh, english it will open up options and opportunities that you know see you will not see if you operate from a place of fear so if you work from a place of fear, you're not going to see the good things coming. You're not going to see your capabilities. You're not going to see your dreams coming into a reality because you're so focused on your fears, what's not possible, what you lack, what's not happening. Okay, so change your mindset, change the way you perceive that because opportunity knocks. You're going to be getting a lot of opportunities. Guys, some of the piles, I might feel like I'm repeating the same things, but I did say from the beginning of this reading that I even read you the highlights that this february going forward there's a lot of things that are going to be unlocked so opportunities are being unlocked for you opportunities are knocking it's all about you paying attention and realizing which is an opportunity which i mean which opportunity is there to to grow you so you need to feel safe and cared for so you need to trust the process trust the process trust the process trust the process okay every time that you feel nervous or scared say that to yourself trust the process okay so you're going to get a lot of opportunities you're going to fly you're going to travel the world Ooh, i'm so excited for you so your opportunities are going to lead you to traveling and it doesn't even have to be like overseas you could literally just be traveling from here to joburg i mean you here to joburg <laughs> um from joburg to cape town cape town to durban what 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 you know what i mean but you're going to be receiving quite a lot of opportunities in terms of your your work okay ah. okay at elim we help you let go of all the negative feelings yes all the fears so you're definitely letting go of what no longer serves the anger the fear the obsession the desperation the insecurities low self-esteem um you know hate all of grudges you're letting go of all these things because number five is a number of changes so big changes are coming into your life and you definitely definitely need to let go of negative feelings so this is more about how you perceive yourself this is you changing the perspective um you have about yourself more than it is about the people around you it's about you because when you change the way you see yourself you're able to see um you're able to to pat yourself on the back when you deserve it okay um you're able to say yes i deserve what i'm receiving because sometimes we really feel um we over like we we downplay ourselves more than people downplay us we downplay ourselves okay even people will be like oh congratulations and you're like ah oh, oh, you know it's not that big ah oh, you know i was struggling and now you just wanna make it look like it's not as great as it sh as it looks so it's not uh, you know as easy as it was or whatever it is man you're just trying to put it different you're trying to paint it into something more negative than it is positive and people are just genuinely trying to compliment you so this year i'm hearing that you need to take compliments because they are coming accordingly okay so people are saying you look good they mean it people are saying you doing good they mean it 
all of that but you need to start by looking yourself in the mirror and being positive look yourself in the mirror and be like oh my god i feel good i look good i'm doing good i'm doing great so you need to pat yourself in the back and release all the negative attachments because these changes number five these changes that are coming they're going to bring all the opportunities that you need so you can fly and go higher and higher and higher so you are rising baby you are rising Six of Stones. Six of Stones. So you basically need to get. You get. You need to because the 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 water element for me is more about your emotions. Okay, so you need to really get in touch with the way you feel. Because right now I'm hearing what's holding you back is generally how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your situations. I'm hearing that you could be maybe like a, a gardener, you could be planting, um, or maybe you should, you should be planting a garden. Um, I'm hearing that maybe you like waterfalls, maybe you're a Cancer, maybe you, you are a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay, um... So if you ever feel like you need to go um, like to a river or you need to go to, what do you call this, ocean, go for it, okay? So, but you also might find yourself traveling to places where there's water, maybe places where there's oceans, okay, or rivers or whatever it is. So whenever you do travel in those places, go ahead and go to the water, okay? can throw that coin and ask for blessings okay or just generally just cleanse yourself in it water is very healing guys very very healing um but take that salt bath take that shower when you feel drained um i'm hearing that water is a powerful element in your space um okay let me read this six of stones restore balance to your accounts <laughs> restore balance to your accounts so this is also just restoring balance within yourself okay um not allowing your emotions to overtake you okay because sometimes we are our own enemy Sometimes we are our we are the reason why we fail. So you need to balance balance that out. As much as you recognize your failures, recognize your wins. Okay. Um, comprehension, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. Okay. So you're releasing all of this compre um your comprehension, apprehension, <laughs> apprehension. Okay. This is number 18, so maybe this is your birthday or something, which is a number nine. So you having to go through releasing, the releasing phase is like putting an end to things that are just weighing you down, like a burden on your shoulders. And I'm literally just seeing yourself here. You are like, I'm hearing you probably have a lot of anxiety, anxiety attacks. Or you 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 have a lot of depression like different depression phases especially when you fail I'm hearing you're very hard on yourself like you're very very hard on yourself so you have like depression stages um, and you get demotivated when you start feeling like that so you need to change the way you look at yourself because all of this is a battle between you and yourself okay so you need to move out in, into the world. Show the world what you're made of, okay? I'm sure the depression is also based on how you feel like you don't fit in. Like you feel like you don't fit in this world because remember you might be that light worker or that star seed or whatever it is that you may be that is from another planet, that traveling, um, that traveling um, <laughs> dimensional being. So you probably, when you when you hear you feel like you're out of place maybe you feel like people won't listen to you or whatever it may be but truth is people are going to listen to you you are going to be heard you are going to change the world okay 
one person at a time, one step at a time, one day at a time, okay? And it starts with yourself. And it starts with yourself. But people, you are definitely going to help a lot of people, hey? But you see this person, this is you, you, this is, this is a depressive stage, this de depressive stage. So they say, move out into the world, show the world what you made of, okay? Don't doubt yourself, don't live in fear. Release those negative feelings. Those lower vibrational feelings, release them, cleanse yourself from them, okay? Like I said, if you need to go to a body of water, go ahead, take that shower, take that soap bath, Go to the swimming pool, you know, go to a river, throw that coin, talk to your elders, your ancestors, you know, um, go to the ocean, you know, cleanse yourself with seawater, collect it if, you, if, if you're called to do so, you know, but don't be afraid to do what, you, what you're called to do. You have every reason to believe in yourself. So this year, you're definitely going to be learning to trust and believe in yourself. You're going to trust the process. You're going to believe in yourself. Okay. But you have all the opportunities that you need. I'm telling you, the only reason you don't see them is because of your fear. Is because of the doubt. How you look down on yourself. All right, let me read these last messages. Joyful. So you need to express more joy in your life, but this year is going to bring you more joy. You're going to be a happier person, I swear. Ah! <laughs> I did say you could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So whoever is watching this that is a cancer and is a life path number three, this is you, my darling. This is you, my darling. This is confirming it. And I can imagine, I know cancers, they they can wallow, yeah, wallow in your low, lower vibrational emotions. Guys, don't dwell too much on your emotions. Your emotions are actually your power. As long as you control them. Once you to save them, people, oh, okay. So also what's happening, because you are the person, remember it did talk about how you inspire people. And you do feel like you're out there to save the world, you know, change the world um you know you're basically there to inspire people and go out there in the world so sometimes what burdens you is that you have a lot of people that want you to save them <laughs> they always want you to save them they want you to help them so everybody is always going to you for help going to you for that so you because you have that motherly and you have that nurturing and caring um energy and character um People always run to you for things. People always come to you for things. Some people are just taking advantage, but some people genuinely um, know that they can depend on you. Okay. So sometimes I think what burdens you is because people want you to save them. People want your help all the time. And maybe you push to a point where you forget that you need yourself. So you need to remember that you too, you need yourself. And nobody's going to save you. Yes, everybody else thinks you can save them. But nobody's going to... Who's going to save you? Because nobody can save you but yourself. Okay. So in this situation, only you can save yourself out of it. So that you can start seeing what is... Um, what the universe is trying to give to you. What the guides, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels. Um, the most high, the divine is trying to give to you. Because they are giving. They are giving you. And I'm hearing some of your dreams are going to highlight your fears. If you're trying to run away from them, they're going to fetch you in your dreams to highlight that you have this fear, you have this, and you need to work on it. Because sometimes our dreams are just things that are in our subconscious, okay? So, yes, man, yes, man, but good things are coming. Absolutely good things are coming. Just need to work on yourself a little more, you know? Don't be a sad cancer if you're a cancer sign. Don't be a sad cancer. If anything, you're probably the most um, capable and blessed because of your nature, nurturing um, nature, okay? You're very nurturing, you're very caring. And if you can live with people, um, you, you create sacred um, connections. You create very powerful, um, you know, connections. So you're definitely going to be creating stronger bonds this year as well. 
and traveling the world. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Pile 3. Pile 3, thank you very much. Mandla, Pile 7. Ah, we are close, we are close, Mandla, we are close. We are, we are very close. You can see they short, so... We are very, very close, okay. So, now we're going to Pile number 4. Life Path number 4. Okay. Okay, let me read <laughs> before I forget again. I pile number two. Pile number two. I uh, will fix it. We'll fix it. Okay. Number four. In numerology, four is an earthly energy, earthy energy, and centered, and is centered around fortifying its roots. Four adamantly believes in the physical world and knows that investing in a solid infrastructure is necessary for building a lastly legacy practical hardworking, and responsible the, the the vibration of the number four is focused on creating logical systems that can support uh, scalable growth there is a solid a solidity to four however um, that can quickly devolve into rigidity Guys, is all, are these words all necessary? <laughs> four must remember that rules are meant to enhance, not inhabit. It's easy for four to become stubborn. So four benefits from learning to loosen up and think about the box. Uh, four will feel liberated and inspired by finding the bravery to take a new bold, uh, a few bold risks. Okay. Okay, let's get started with number four. Okay. Okay, definitely, I'm hearing a lot of stability. Number four, I'm hearing stability for you. Ha! Stability in your relationship, stability in your work environment, stability, um, just generally your connection, friendship, family, stability, you know, in pursuing all your goals, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So, definitely, I'm hearing stability. This year is going to bring you stability. So you've probably been investing, doing a lot, doing all that you need to do, and you haven't been feeling secure. So you're about to feel secure, you're about to feel stable in everything that you've been manifesting, okay? Love and value yourself. Could be having a baby girl if you're pregnant, okay? So, but love and value yourself. Your baby is saying love and value yourself. Okay, you mean the world to other people and you need to understand that you matter. Okay, so love and value yourself. I think that also goes with the stability. You need to feel more stable within yourself. Like you need to feel a lot of love and value for yourself so that you feel more secure in everything that you do because love matters. Guys, self-love, it means a lot. It means the world. That's where it starts. Flowing with life, never take anything too seriously. Take a breath and face what you need to with the light heart. Flow with the tides of life, okay? So this is literally where life is going to be flowing for you. Okay, you won't have to do too much. No, 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 no. Don't do too much. Don't try it too hard. Don't push too, you know, too much. Um, if it doesn't work, let it go, you know, because something better is coming. So this is where you're going to be flowing with life. Maybe in the past three, maybe the past years, maybe from 2020, you felt like you were struggling to breathe, you were drowning, you know, everything you were doing wasn't happening the way you wanted it to. Um, this year is saying, don't push too hard. What doesn't work is either protection or happening in your favor, either way. But you need to understand the flow, okay? So life is going to be showing you the directions that you need, the things that you need to do, but you're going to be feeling more stable and secure because you're going, you're go, you're going to be loving and valuing yourself and trusting, you okay? After everything you've gone through, it's about to be 11-11, guys. Oh, number, number, pile number four, 
you know if you see 11 11 because literally it's 11 11 right now if you see 11 11 see 11 11 okay so if you see 11 11 a lot just know that this is a sign you are going to be receiving stability this year okay your life is going to be flowing like you know no more <laughs> no more waves no more not to say that life won't give you challenges but they're not going to be as epic as they used to you know you're not going to be feeling like you're suffocating <gasps> i'm drowning i'm you know fighting your way to the top so this year you're going to be flowing flowing with life okay you're going to understand when to release when to let go um what is it that you need what is it that you don't need okay so this year is going to be very interesting they're saying just breathe just breathe okay don't try too hard number nine passiveness is an instant recipe for relapse okay but never mind the image but i'm just getting relax just relax okay you need to relax maybe you should take yourself to a spa massage you know if you can afford it go to a spa massage or ask your bae or if you have one to give you a massage <laughs> you know set up a mini day do something nice for your birthday this year i'm hearing maybe you haven't done really something nice for yourself for your birthday so this year set up something nice even if it's something small and simple you deserve to celebrate love and value yourself you need to celebrate yourself this year so treat yourself i'm hearing it's this year is more about doing a lot for yourself okay okay the days have ended where you put everyone first before yourself this year is about you it's about you okay this one says totem of bulls the swimmers okay maybe you see a lot of dolphins or maybe you generally do like dolphins or maybe you should go to an aquarium and go see some dolphins uh, I would like that call me <laughs> but um, go for swimming if you love swimming go for swimming please okay go to the ocean go out go swimming while it's still hot because the seasons are about to change so take the opportunity definitely take the opportunity but i'm hearing definitely a lot of i'm hearing the word serenity solitude um and i'm hearing you're very strong and you're very sacred so you're very special um, the people that you've taken care of, the things that you've done for them, they are more than grateful. Even the ones who don't tell you, they are very grateful, okay? So this year, that's why it's more about you taking care of yourself, okay? And also the people that have passed on, just know that your loved ones that have passed on, whether it's a mother or father or family member or just a friend or lover, just know that they've, they appreciated you even though they never said it. And they appreciate you even now on the other side, okay? Um, oh, let me read this. Totem of balls, swim in eternal lights. Oh my God. Definitely go for swimming though. <laughs> but swim in eternal lights and remember your light is within you. The moment you love and value yourself. So basically swim yourself in a pool of love okay bathe yourself with love treat yourself go out you know go for that date go for that vacation set up you know a nice birthday thing so this year is going to be about spoiling yourself and your life is going to be flowing and everything that you need to do those things is going to be coming so life is going to be rewarding you for everything that you've done all the good that you've done this is a year where life is celebrating you you are being celebrated 
you are being celebrated you're going to feel stable and secure because you're going to see the amount of celebrations happening around you and it within you and in your life okay um lost love surrender healing release okay so just um do the healing that you need to do but i'm hearing like i said the people maybe who have passed on so probably you're still healing from losing a loved one okay maybe you've been drained feeling down feeling like maybe you can't recover from this you can't come back from this so i'm hearing that surrender surrender to the reality of what is happening um there's nothing wrong with grieving there's nothing wrong with being sad you know allow yourself to feel those emotions allow yourself to grieve okay because sometimes we want to appear strong or we don't want to feel it at all because it feels you know pain is not something that everyone wants to go around feeling unless you're a narcissist but you know allow yourself to grieve because it's it's a pro it's a it's a uh, it's a step that you need for your healing okay but i'm also hearing that your healing process requires you to take care of yourself okay you need to go out there so that you feel like the world is still happening the world is still out there okay um and it's not the end okay this is a 35 which is an eight so i'm trying j and j number eight have been showing up so i'm hearing that this loved one is going to bring so many blessings into your life so whoever had passed on they're going to bring blessings into your life okay but also i'm hearing release the things that you need to release so this also goes with letting go of like items so maybe if you're a hoarder like you have so many items because you're like oh it means something to me it means something <laughs> i'm hearing that you need to release and let go of some things donate some old clothes or old shoes old furniture whatever it is that you need to release and let go please do that because trust me you're going to get more there's more coming and there won't be space in your house for all these sentimental and meaningful things that are coming okay because remember it's part of spoiling yourself you're going to be getting yourself those new clothes getting yourself new shoes so everything else in your wardrobe that you no longer wear okay give it to the world give it to other people give it to the needy go do donations um okay share that self-love okay share that self-love okay i'm also hearing that um there could be something good coming for you this full moon so on the 16th to the 17th there could be a maybe even communication you might dream about a loved one um but also just an event that's going to be happening something that's going to something unforgettable for you okay maybe it could even be your birthday on that day um but something meaningful is coming your way okay a blessing is coming your way um and it's from a loved one so whoever passed on even if it wasn't recent maybe it was a long time ago a mother a father or whatever it may be Okay, you're going to receive a gift this month from a loved one just to show you that they love you balance I spoke about stability so you're going to be feeling stable balance you're going to be feeling that stability mm? the yin and the yang your scale is going to be balancing out okay fire signs aries leo sagittarius so you could be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius okay calm oh my god did i not speak about relaxing so here the message is you need to calm down every move that you make be calm relax breathe that's literally what they said take a breath okay relax okay you know how dolphins are dolphins are the most calm and the most relaxed and if anything they flow with life okay so and they very they make everyone feel giddy excited happy okay so but this is what you need to feel okay but be calm everything is happening according i'm hearing trust in divine timing everything is happening in your favor everything is happening according okay so swim in the ocean of love swim in the ocean of your light because you are literally surrounded 
by people that love you people that appreciate you even when they don't say it and i'm going i'm hearing you're going to be spoiled this year you're going to be spoiled by a lot of people okay so i'm also hearing that don't reject things because you're afraid um because of fear all the time okay so don't reject gifts or treatments because of, so you might be getting people like contact you and saying let's go out for a, a vacation it's on me oh let's go out for drinks it's on me oh let's go out for shopping it's on me so you're going to be getting spoiled a lot i mean pile for you know what you people are going to be spoiling you left and right okay and it's because you deserve it okay and trust that all right so right all right thank you pile four Thank you very much, pile four, okay? Now we're going to the next pile. I'm so proud of how quickly I'm doing this because normally I'm like so slow because I talk too much. Okay, so we're going to pile number five. Pile number five. Life part four. I mean, life part five. Okay, life part five. Okay, there's, I'm hearing there's big, big changes happening. You are the person that everybody looked at two years back in 2020 and they were like, he's never going to make it. She's never going to make it. You know, people have said to you that, who do you think you are? Who do you think? Where do you think you're going to end up? That's exactly you, Power 5. People have looked down on you. People have made jokes about your life your struggles they've humiliated you um you know they've probably others doing other things black magic to make sure that you they are proven right because some people they go around telling people that you're gonna fail and then they go and they do black magic so that you do fail so that they are proven right you with me right but um you're going to prove all of them wrong all of them wrong big changes the kind of changes they are never going to expect it's going to be a slap in the face some of them might even commit suicide some of them might even go crazy and end up in mental institutes listen power five i don't know what's, what's happening in your life but it's huge it's huge everything will be okay oh this is so cute you see what i mean people wanted to make sure that you stay at the bottom yeah we're going to prove we're going to prove ourselves right so they're gonna fail they're gonna end up to nothing some people even wanted to see you as a street kid begging for food depending on them people wanted to see you dead even but your spirit baby says everything will be okay some of you might be having a daughter okay everything will be okay okay let me read number five you see i nearly forgot I, I, I nearly forgot i nearly had forgotten okay number five free thinking adventurous and progressive five is identified by freedom five needs to express the world by engaging its five senses for five life lessons are, are acquired through spontaneous acts of bravery akin to Sagittarius energy within astrology. Five is known for its playful, impulsive, and vivacious spirit. Um, but on the other side of its signature, I don't know what that word is, five can become restless and impatient. Since five is always seeking discovery, it has a difficult time accepting, accepting life's day-to-day -day responsibilities, including professional and interpersonal commitments. Five must remember that when it narrows its gaze, it will discover that most of the rewarding exploration exists in its own backyard. Okay. So people didn't want you to know that you have everything you need in your own backyard. People wanted you to think everything you need is outside in their yards. The whole time it's in your own backyard. And then they wanted to try and steal your things in your backyard while you were focusing on getting things outside. Because the more you go out in the streets and you, you live in your house, who's watching your house? Who's watching your backyard? 
So while you going out there trying to get what other people, um, you know, what other people convinced you that you needed, they were taking everything else in your backyard. So that you feel like you don't have anything. Okay. But this year, you're going to feel like you have everything it takes. You're going to feel like you have every tool that you need. You're going to be the magician of this year. I'm telling you, everything is going to be okay. Literally everything. Even what seems impossible to be okay will be okay. Okay. Plant a seed. What you think about is planting a seed for you for the future. Focus your thoughts on what you would love and how you would love to feel. Okay. So plant those seeds. Go back to your backyard. Start that garden. Okay. Don't dwell on whatever is gone. What's gone is gone. <sighs> What's gone is gone. Now you need to focus on building something greater for yourself. And I'm hearing that everything that you plant this year is going to come quickly. Like five times quicker. It's going to be so fast. You're not going to believe it. Like as soon as you um, putting in an application today and then tomorrow you get a call. I'm telling you. Um, life part five please go this is your year please go out there please go put yourself out there okay um and it's so crazy because now the time is 0155 so number five the universe is in your favor you this is your second chance to prove everyone wrong okay you've probably been seeing who the people that are coming against you all the people that you don't need in your life all your haters all your enemies all those other people that were trying to slow you down you probably have seen all of that i think the time frame when you didn't have what you needed at the time it was more revelations about what you do need and how you're going to go about it and who to get rid of so you can accomplish the people that were stealing in your backyard okay so but now you're building a whole entire garden Okay, you don't have material, I mean, you don't have just items, you know, you don't have decorating items in your yard. You're literally building a garden, a garden that is going to give you seeds that will give food, fruits, you know, vegetables or whatever. And knowing that every time you pluck out of it, every time you take a fruit, the fruit will grow again. So this is at a stage of your life where more and more and more and more will always come don't worry be happy without alcohol and drugs oh my god don't worry be happy what's the song don't worry be happy don't worry be happy okay guys I can't lie. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Be happy. God is about to step in your life. Your ancestor is about to step in your life and show everybody, okay, we have arrived. We know you guys thought you were succeeding with slowing down our child. You were delaying them with thinking that you're stealing all the blessings. We're about to show off right now. Okay, so the divine is about to show off with you right now. What they don't know is at that time in your life when they were taking things from you, when they were trying to do black magic to slow you down, you were learning. My God. Look at that. You were learning. You were being groomed and taught to become a warrior. You were in training. I'm telling you, you're, you're the chariot. Number seven, I'm hearing, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing that, um, so some of you, if you're going to go and play there by the casino, seven, 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 <laughs> ching, 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 like that's how quickly things are going to come for you. You could be just innocently going to a casino, you're like, oh, let me just play. And then it literally gives you like the first one, 200 rands, you know, whatever it is, like you going to be that person who's like a money magnet, luck opportunities getting all the right people right places you're going to shock people because everybody thought no it's never gonna happen 
you're going to be in making instant connections that tomorrow you meet tomorrow you record the next day you're releasing a song how that quickly people are going to be doing favors for you it's going to feel so impossible i'm telling you Ooh, my charger okay so you are the warrior in that time that isolation when you were in solitude when they stripped everything away from you it was so that you learn the value of your life so that you see the truth of everything happening around you so that you understand what is it that you're passionate about what is it that i want to do where do i want to go and how am i going to do it you were being built to have clarity Look at you, you're successful, you're striving, you're victorious. You're the winner here. You're the warrior. You're the winner. The heavens have opened for you. The divine is with you. Look at that. The moon is in your favor. The stars are in your favor. The birds are in your favor. The angels are in your favor. The, 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 the sky, you know, the universe, the rainbows. I'm telling you. It's time for you to climb and ride this um, this horse. And you know how fast the horse is. You know how fast it is. That's how fast you're going. I'm telling you. Oh, let me read this. Chariot. Okay. Warrior, celebrate your achievement. You have done your job. Enjoy the results and be willing to allow the victorious moment. Both it's coming and it's going. I'm telling you. You are victorious. You have done your job. Celebrate your achievements. You are celebrating this year. People are not going to believe it. People are going to wish they never did you dirty. People are going to wish that they never crossed you. People are going to wish that they never said what they said about your name. They're going to wish that they never threw your name in the dirt. They're going to wish they were with you by your side celebrating right now. Because you're going to have so much success. It's going to be unbelievable. Some of you, you're going to be on TV. Some of you are going to be on TV. You're going to be a star. You're going to be big. You're going to be huge. I don't even want to specify too much about what you're trying to achieve, Power 5. All I'm here to say is that everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Be happy plant those seeds i'm telling you you could be doing everything you could be doing construction you could be doing music you could be doing designing you could be opening a restaurant you could be you know like you're going to be you're going to be so successful everything you do is everything you touch is going to turn into gold and nobody can get in the way everybody just gonna sit miserable can you see that people are going to be drinking their stresses away they're going to be so depressed. They might even, like I said, they might even commit suicide, some of them. Anyway, not that suicide is something I, I, I don't encourage suicide, guys. I don't. But people, people, they go and they do demonic things. They go and they do black magic. They go and they think they can, because um, people do, um, they use black magic to make other people commit suicide. Um... But I'll talk more about that in my, um, what do you call this, my chat room about the suicidal spirit. But people do use suicidal spirits to cause other people to kill themselves. Like I said, they wanted to see you dead. So them committing suicide is just it reversing back because of the things they said about you, because of the things they've done against you. Okay, they can't live with themselves. So, but may God be with them. Number six, yeah, no, this year is yours. Remember, 2022 is 222, two, two. that's a six, that's harmony. Everything is flowing. Everything you're searching for is, is what, what, what you seek is seeking you. Everything you're searching for, you're going to receive, okay? Um, feeling lost, confused, lonely. So you're no longer going to be feeling lonely. You're no longer going to be feeling confused. You're no longer going to be feeling lost. If anything, you're going to be feeling confident. You're going to be feeling sure. You're going to be feeling driven. You're going to be feeling motivated. You're going to be a go-getter. You're going to feel like a winner. I'm so proud of you guys. Yay. Okay. It could, as you could be starting your new job on the 6th. 
you could be starting something new on the 6th you could be receiving something because i was telling you that if you start today tomorrow it might just happen so some of you on the 6th something that you've been searching for you're going to get it look the light is shining on you you are highly favored and everything is going to be okay i'm so happy okay soul ties so these people were trying to tie themselves to you all those people that were looking down on you saying what they were saying about you and all of that stuff those were just soul ties people were trying to tie themselves down to you okay trying to tie themselves down to your abundance your success uh, using what they were using dark magic and all of that okay but you learned who to cut those soul ties you learned who to cut out these people are going to keep trying they're going to use black magic and everything in between try to come back in your good graces text you oh my god let's catch up oh it's been a long time people are going to try to come back into your life and most of them are going to come back just to destroy you it's like round two oh wait we thought we we destroyed them the last time okay fine let's go try again you know and some of them are going to be coming back because they want the advantage of the things that you have okay but be careful of that okay be careful make new friends rather male some of you are male okay some of you are male you're going to be building connections with you know someone who's going to be bringing you opportunities is probably a male and you could be an aquarius okay you could be an aquarius okay thank you very much pile five and i wish you all the best okay all right so now we're gonna go to pile six okay pile number six life part six Like my excitement is over the top. <laughs> my excitement is over the top. I hope I'm not overwhelming you guys. <laughs> but if it was up to me, I'd do a Vosha right now. I'd be just like dancing. That's how much energy, exciting energy, like that's happening right now. You know. Alrighty. Life path number six. Oh, definitely you guys are having the harmony this year. <laughs> you guys are definitely having the harmony this year, okay. Okay, let's read here. Okay, six is recognized for its nurturing, supportive, and empathetic nature, a true healer. Six has the ability to problem solve in both the emotional and physical realms, helping others through its straightforward yet gentle approach. Six has a strong sense of responsibility and cares deeply for its friends, family, and lovers. This number can, this number can also can easily communicate with children and animals, displaying a soft tenderness and caretaker spirit. But not everything needs to be parented, and sometimes six protective energy can become domineering and controlling. To avoid carrying the world on its shoulders, six must learn to build trust and understanding for others. Uh, simply put, everyone. Yeah, simply put, everyone must follow their own unique path. Or simply put, everyone must follow their own path. Okay. The commas they matter, right? <laughs> All right. So, number six, let's go ahead. Okay, let's go. quiet time. So, if you do have a child, or you are going to have a child, probably a baby girl, okay? But, quiet time. <sighs> quiet time, you guys.
flowers or just vegetables whatever it is you like um i'm seeing you getting those singing bowls um or like chimes king kitty chimes ne chimes or chimes chimes that thing whatever those sounds you know um like i'm seeing you more of that person who likes to create a comfortable space for themselves so you should like re I'm, I'm hearing reorganize your space to make you feel because when you have quiet time when you within your solitude this is where like you elevate your powers okay you elevate your gifts you uh, elevate just your connection with yourself okay because like it highlighted number six how it resonates so well with everyone you know uh children friends family but you need that quiet time okay you need that quiet time so that you don't end up being controlling on other people because you need to allow people to follow their own path right but you need that quiet time you can actually you know see the light within your own path all right not focus too much on what you need to do for other people but yourself so you need the quiet time. So I'm hearing change up your space. Reorganizing yourself, reorganizing your life, reorganizing your space. Um, even if moving out. So someone who's trying to move out this year, I'm here to succeed. So if you're trying to get a new place, you're going to get it. Okay, you're going to get a place that is going to give you quiet it's going to give you a lot of quiet it's going to give you peace okay number two down don't stay there get up okay <laughs> so don't stay down man if you feel down and you feel demotivated or you feel defeated by a situation especially if it has to do with this moving out trust trust me you're going to get that place you're going to get a new place if where you are you're very unhappy or maybe even if you leave home with family and you've been trying to get yourself a new place you're gonna get that new place Don't things that don't make you happy if something is not doing good by your side shift and reorganize your life you know so that it because some things they keep us down okay and i'm also hearing um if you've been feeling out of place at like group you know if you've been feeling out of place when you go out to parties and whatever this is just you needing quiet time okay you don't always need to be surrounded by people to feel good okay it's okay to get a glass relax at home you know and have popcorns and watch that movie eat your favorite food you know whatever it may be just be with yourself you don't always have to accommodate people okay Surrender, what are you fighting? A acceptance of a situation, freedom and choice. You don't need to like the situation, just accept um, that it is what it is. You're seeing these animals a lot. What is it, a dragonfly or a wasp? You're not late. Okay, but it's saying surrender. You need to surrender to the reality. wasting your energy and you end up draining yourself to a point where you are the one who's down 
you end up defeated. So I'm hearing don't extend. Oh, lipstick, guys. Lipstick. Sorry. <laughs> Beauty. Okay. So basically, uh, about themselves you can control what people want to do and what they don't want to do so you need to surrender to that fact and don't try to make people what they don't want to be because then you lose focus you lose focus so you need some quiet time just to bring yourself back to the center where you belong Teaching Lodge of the Arrows. Yes. Exactly what it was talking about. You're so used to being the leader, the dictator, the controller. You're so used to being... I'm hearing you always think you're right. <laughs> okay. And people do look up to you. Don't get me wrong. People definitely look up to you. People believe you people see you going places people see your potential people see your potential people they follow your footsteps people you inspire people okay but not everybody is going to be inspired in the right way not everybody is going to wanna follow you you know so but you need quiet time okay but I'm hearing you're a leader. You're definitely a leader. And I'm hearing that you've been doing good at it. Elaborate by revisioning the world. Oh, wow. Okay, here what I'm also hearing is that probably you've been having this whole vision um, of yourself doing something greater than what you're doing right now. So... Um, hearing someone maybe could be trying to open an N is it an NGO someone could be okay charity homes NGO book club mm, art gallery I don't know why I heard art gallery someone could be trying to open an art gallery dancing studio Okay, so this is more about people who are trying to open things they own. So this is more ownership and you'll be helping other people. So obviously if you have a studio, people are going to be coming to you for services. Um, you know, all of that stuff. At gallery people, you're going to be helping other people ex exhibit their work and you know, all of that stuff. So you're more of a person who's trying to build a foundation. So that it can help other people who don't have the opportunities to create um, that foundation for themselves okay so I am hearing that it's going to be stable it's going to be solid as you can see this building okay you built it hence your hands are all up there you know you're reaching for the stars and it is built it is solid you know even the Sun or the moon whatever that is is it the Sun or moon Sun the Sun is in your favor okay but the light is shining upon you And people are believing in you. People are trusting. They're looking up to you. They're like, yeah, no, we trust this person. We know everything they do, you know, they, they succeed. So we, we're going to follow this person. This is, this is someone who carries leadership skills that are, you know, very doubting. You're very analytic in your observance. So people, they believe that you know what you're doing. Okay. So this year, you're going to be doing a lot of teaching. As you can say, teaching lodge of the arrows you're going to be teaching a lot of people a lot of people even if you haven't really started teaching or maybe you didn't even think you were a teacher or you didn't think what you were doing was teaching people but this is your calling you're going to be teaching people 
so even in your path whatever it is that you do you're going to be teaching i mean i do see you teaching children though to a certain point you're going to end up teaching children helping the less fortunate okay the younger generation i see you working with the younger generation um you could be very good with children really okay but some of you maybe you want to do something for the elderly okay um but you're definitely teaching people are going to be listening to your voice so this year is about you using your voice and knowing when to be quiet but quiet time is for you it's more for your sacred space okay but people are going to be looking up to you this year everybody's going to be watching them <gasps> Okay, well, I, I wonder what's her next move. Oh my god, she's succeeding. Oh my god, she's doing better than the last time. Oh my god. Yes. Nine of hearts, fulfillment, harmony, and protection. I mean, look at that. People are going to be watching you. People are going to be looking up to you. Because you're the star. You're the star. Okay, you're the star, you're the center of attention, you're the leader, you're showing people the way. People are going to love you. This is a number 37, this could be your age, but um, this is a number 10. So yeah, you're at the finish line, definitely. Definitely at the finish line. This is a new beginning for you. It's coming with fulfillment and protection protection you are protected because you're going to be working with a lot of people so <laughs> don't worry you're going to be protected in the process this year is generally about so how many is guaranteed in your life so whatever it is that you do the teachings that you do the journey that you unfold people that you work with and all of that you see the hearts you're going to be loved by the people that you teach people are going to love you okay but you're going to achieve a lot okay some people some people are in regret those people who didn't believe in you they regret it because they seeing that wow you're going far you're going places okay they see that people actually love you some people are just jealous because people love you okay but they in deep regret because of that because of the way they treated you the way they didn't believe in you they looked down on you or just simply how they spoke about you or to you okay so people who didn't support you they regret it because you're the leader now you're the teacher now everybody following you sibling brother sister okay it could be a sibling brother or sister uh, brother or sister that's in regret but also this is someone that could be looking up to you so you probably inspire your brother or your sister okay calling uktuasa yo 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 <laughs> but it makes so much sense right because you are someone who has a calling because besides Uktwasane, Uktwasane is just a process of in initiation and I feel like generally we all go through initiation, right? The time is two, 2 hours and 22 minutes. Okay, cool. So, Uktwasane is just a process of initiation and obviously depending on the kind of calling you have, the initiation is going to be different, okay? So you're going to, you probably have been going through this but you're going to be going through a process of initiation where you're going to be prepared as you see this is actually you know now that it's mentioned this picture um it's like you're in a sacred space where you have your own teachers your own spirit guides that are teaching you so that you can go out there in the world and teach other people so in your quiet time you're being taught by very valuable spirit guides ancestors angels you know god or goddess higher power um the divine you're being given ways to teach people you're being given guidance and messages on how to help other people okay because you have a divine calling 
you have a calling on your life to teach doesn't matter what you teach you are a teacher you are destined to be a teacher boom um but yeah you know your sibling could be looking up to you and these are people you probably go you doing um all of this for you're teaching them you know to create a better life because you're an example so people are regretting people are regretting because they see they see that hey you're going to the top day by day you do going to the top so you're definitely going to succeed in your teaching. Um, everything that you do this year, it's going to be teaching. Even just having a conversation with a stranger, you're going to be teaching that stranger something. You know, everybody you bump into, they're going to feel like you left a mark in their life and you've taught them something valuable because of that's who you're destined to be. Okay. All right, pal six. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go to pile seven. Okay, pile number seven. I hope Mandla is here. Mandla, this is for you. <laughs> um, even if you're not here now, when you come back, I hope you see it. Ne? But life part seven. Okay. Life path number seven. Um, okay, I'm hearing you are on the right path. You are in the right place, at the right time, with the right people, doing the right thing. And it's crazy because the time is 11.57, number seven, okay? Um, I'm hearing there's a jackpot coming. You're going to get a jackpot. And I'm hearing you can feel it's coming. It's something that you can feel that it's coming. Something that you can feel. Maybe you've been anticipating. When is it coming? Is it going to come? Is it? Yes, it's coming. Okay, but definitely you are being told you are on the right path at the right time with the right people. Divine timing is in your favor. Trust the process. Keep going. Go forward. Okay. You're being put in the right places with the right people at the right time. And you are, you are aligned with where you need to go. That's what I'm hearing. Sharing makes everything more fun. Oh, I'm hearing that people are going to be sharing a lot with you. Like, you may... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I start... Okay, number seven. The detectives of numerology. Seven is known for its investigative abilities and analytical skills. Astrology, the number seven, can be thought of as a blend of Virgo and Scorpio energy. Seven is extremely detailed orientated, but it is driven by inner wisdom as opposed to tangible realities. Seven has a keen eye and its astute, astute <laughs> observation fuel a quick wicked um inventive spirit because it can quickly find the flaws in almost any system seven is a bit of a perfectionist seven will of often assume fault uh, so it's important for this number to counterbalance its inherent skepticism with an open mind not everything will be foolproof but that's what makes life fun okay All right, now we can get started. Okay, so sharing makes everything more fun. Okay, so with this one, your little baby, your spirit baby, maybe you also have a daughter. Or you will have a daughter, right? Hey, why is my ear itching? Somebody's going to have a baby this year. If, even if it's not born this year, but it's conceived this year. So somebody going to plant a seed in somebody's womb this year and it might be a baby girl, okay? Some of you I'm hearing twins. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Somebody might be having twins this year. Even triplets. Eh, whose genetics are so strong? Guys. Some of 
you might be having twins. Ah, 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 no, somebody's pregnant this year. Somebody's pregnant this year. Kurilidi relationship, you, somebody's finding love this year. Okay, okay, I'm getting excited. <laughs> but sharing makes everything more fun. So this sharing goes with you having a relationship. My mom is, my mom is making a noise. Like, why? Why? <laughs> Excuse that, guys. So, wait. Sharing makes everything more fun. So, this sharing goes with you having a relationship. So, if you're not already in a relationship, you're about to have a relationship. Yeah, this is the pile with the love reading, actually. Most of the other piles didn't really talk much about love. Well, personally. Well, directly. But this one is highlighting a relationship okay you're going to be sharing yourself your time okay and you're going to have someone who's going to be sharing with you okay and it's going to be more fun so you're going to have a very fun relationship um if you are already in one it's going to be more fun you're going to be sharing more adventures um you're going to be sharing traveling you know vacations you know um marriage um you going to be children sharing you know children so this year you are guaranteed to have a relationship okay um the time is 1202 so you are guaranteed to have a relationship um a loving relationship okay if you don't already have one you you about to be put in the right places at the right time with your soulmate or your twin flame or whoever it is my god Oh my god be open to receive pay attention to how open you are to receive be it a compliment a gift a hug a smile or any act of kindness and generosity being open to receive is the key to unlocking the life you want to live so be open to receive okay remember life part seven was talking about how very critical you guys are you very analytical you can observe and find fault in things so this year try not to observe too much on You should always look at your advantages and your disadvantages. You should always pay attention. But don't intentionally try to find all the bad things to outweigh the good things so that you can it. Because you're so used to it and you're so used to fear. No, we don't do that this year. Okay? You are receiving. This is you. Life is giving you a beautiful relationship. It's giving you family i'm so happy for you so be ready to receive they're saying as small as a gift as a smile as a hug because that relationship if you haven't met your lover might start with a little gift it might start with a smile okay it might start with a compliment and for all you know that is your happily ever after all she said was i like your t-shirt i like your hair i like your smile okay might be that long time best friend that's always cared about you and given you things always bought you uh, presents on your birthday you know always showed up for important events and only to find that that's your destined soulmate that's someone you're going to marry so don't be afraid of taking a leap of faith don't be afraid to take risks okay is what i'm hearing so this relationship is coming ace of bowls this way, and it's divinely guided. Listen, you are put in the right place. Look at this. Look at this. You were put in the right place at the right time with this person. Both your cups are full. So it's not going to be an unfair relationship. Nobody's going to be pulling this side. I don't pulling this side. You guys are going to be compatible. Come back. Actually, it was 023333. So, you guys are going to be compatible. You guys are going to be motivating each other, driving each other the right direction. Your soul, your soul purpose is going to be in. It's going to be united. It's going to be one. This is going to be a divine union. Ace. It even says Ace of Balls, which is one. So both your cups are going to be full.
having to go through the phone look are they doing this are they doing that you won't have to always be looking behind what's happening what are they doing oh, are they gonna stab me on my back now <laughs> it's not gonna be like that you see how they trust each other with each other's backs their backs are literally on each other whatever direction they looking sting because they know this is destined for them okay ace of balls receive love from the giver yo yeah. i receive love from the be open to receive this one says receive love from the giver the one who compliments you the one who gives you a gift the one who um who gives you a hug who the one who's kind and generous to you okay be open to receive love from the giver you are worth loving you deserve that relationship you deserve a happy family be willing to share maybe you could have thought oh no maybe this lifetime i'm never going to be a husband i'm never going to be a father or a mother or you know or um a wife or whatever it is maybe you thought this lifetime didn't have what you needed or what it took to be in a happy family and i'm here to tell you you do i'm actually literally someone just passed and they're carrying a baby i'm telling you with a mother and a father <laughs> literally a whole family just went past my window a mother and a father a father who's carrying a baby a baby i'm telling you you are going to have a child this year or you're going to conceive a child you're going to have a woman even if you guys have the child before you get married after that you're probably gonna get married maybe this is something that's happening already you have um you have a child with a certain partner and you're thinking of getting married okay don't be worried if you're stressing about finances it's going to come together okay i am so excited for you wow okay this one says garbage in garbage out again like i said you might have triplets you might have twins might have one but you are definitely someone who's going to have a lot of babies maybe you're going to have a total of three babies i think you might have a total of three babies so it might be like one then twins or one 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 or triplets straight up okay but you might be someone who might have like three babies but also three is a number that resembles the trinity the trinity right which is the mother the father the child so you definitely going to have this home garbage in garbage out whatever doesn't serve whatever doesn't serve you is coming out okay to make space for this happy family and also get rid of those exes um that are toxic get rid of those friends those f buddies um listen don't try to pretend guys let's not pretend like it's always okay to be friends with people from our past it's not because the people that come in our lives how are they supposed to feel about it how are they supposed to feel secure in the relationship if you still keep you still keep people that you had sexual relations with specifically you had sexual relations how are they supposed to feel secure that you guys will never sleep again why, okay why are you still keeping each other <laughs> Unless you have a baby together, I'm not. I'm not even referring to your baby mother or your baby father or whatever. But get rid of the. Don't say, "Oh, this is my ex. We best friends." No. The only way your relationship is going to work, the only way your partner is going to have no reason to watch their back, to feel secured, is if you get rid of the garbage, get rid of what doesn't serve you. Get rid of things that create insecurity in your relationship. Get rid of the people that don't wish well for you, that don't even want you to have a relationship. Some people are there because they don't want you to have that relationship. They don't want you to have a happy family. So get rid, get rid of those numbers on your phone that don't serve you, that you were supposed to do, uh, get rid of a long time ago, okay? Because your new wife or your new husband should not be feeling insecure because of other people 
from your past. Okay? Yin and Yang. Creating harmony through balance. Oh my God, so much harmony has been highlighted throughout everybody. Yeah, this is definitely the year of harmony. But balance, balance yourself out. But what I'm also hearing is you're going to get your, if you're a yin, you're going to get your yang. If you're a yang, you're going to get your yin. <laughs> but the scales are balancing out for you. You're going to have a relationship that has balance. Okay. If you're not, basically, if you, um, are not good at something your wife will be good at it or your husband will be good at it somehow it's 12 12 okay if you um are not providing financially a certain way your partner will be what i'm saying is you're going to have a, a partner that's going to balance you out this partner is going to be understanding of your weaknesses and your strengths they're not going to be trying to change your weaknesses into strengths or your strength into weaknesses it's not going to be you know that type of relationship is going to be one where they are accepting of you and they're going to grow with you as you strengthen your strengths as you you better your weaknesses or as you learn from your weaknesses okay so this is someone who's going to balance you out they're going to know you very well and you're going to transform and change together see the butterfly you guys going to change and transform together you're going to grow old together till death do you apart some of you so you could be 40 or this person could be 40 but this equals to a number four so definitely a lot of stability coming stability in this relationship is happening and if you want four kids i'm hearing you can have them but i'm hearing you're going to have very special kids your kids are going to be very gifted you're going to have very special kids with this person your kids are going to be very very special okay so as i said the relationship is divinely guided you have been put together with this person for a reason this person has been chosen by your ancestors this person has been chosen by your spirit guides you has been chosen by your angels by god goddess the divine the most high okay you've been put together for a divine reason and the children that you're going to give birth to are going to be special they're going to be um gifted they're going to change the world for all you know you might be the next president you might be giving birth to the next president or the next scientist you know or the next revolutionary or healer or whatever it is but you're going to be giving birth to very very special children so don't be afraid of a new relationship. Don't be afraid of love. Don't be afraid of being vulnerable. Oh, wow. You guys must be special. There's even four here. There's four of these. And other children got three. You guys got four. How about whom? <laughs> you, um, you don't give up on yourself. Yeah. This is what your partner is also going to love about you. You don't give up on yourself. And don't. Don't give up on yourself. Earth signs. So you might be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So you're unique, you're different, you stand out. As I was saying this about your children as well. So your children are going to be unique, different, and they're going to stand out because you stand out. You're unique. You're special. Okay, you're different. And the same thing with your partner. You guys are two unique different and special people that stand out. Your entire relationship is good. People are going to look up look up up to your relationship people are going to use you as relationship goals type of thing you know what i mean but it's simply because of the discipline that you hold um the way that you grow your relationship with your partner and how you raise your children as well okay simply jay just the way you go about life with your family it's going to show on the outside that this is a healthy home Caring and loving nature. So you're very caring and you're very loving, okay? And this is what your relationship is going to be surrounded by. Care and love. You're going to, be, to have a caring partner and a loving partner. Who's going to love you as much as you love them and they're going to care about you as much as you care about yourself. And they're not going to give up on you. You're not going to give up on them. You're not going to give up on yourselves. Okay? But this is what you're going to be teaching your children through your love. This is going to be your love language. 
it's going to be a love language and it's going to teach your children this very same love language so that in the future this is what they do okay this is so cool guys i'm so happy for you i'm so happy so don't be afraid to put yourself out there go out on that date today if you're still single you know you haven't really found your loved one or maybe you have that friend that best friend that you've been feeling like oh maybe there is something special go for it if you um have a relationship and you've been wanting to do something nice for your partner just to spark things up definitely go spark things up okay um if you've been thinking about a family with that person you are gonna get it okay um if you're wondering if marriage will ever happen between you it will happen um if you ever you know questioning if you'll generally find love this year you will find love this year okay all right thank you power seven i hope that helps okay all the best now we're gonna go to pile eight why do my lips feel dry Mm, that I talk too much. You know when you talk too much and your lips are complaining. Mm. When you talk too much until your lips complain. Life path number eight. <laughs> Life path number eight. I'm hearing abundance, abundance. And you know, <laughs> look at this. The candle, a green candle fell on it. There's like a drop of a green candle, probably when I was praying. But, uh, you know, green is actually a color, is a color of abundance. Green is a color of wealth, of health. Okay, growth, growth, wealth, and health. Well, those are the three words that I like to describe it as. Growth, wealth, and health. Okay, so this is a resemblance of abundance. Where things grow, there is health, there is wealth. Okay, so this year, that's exactly what you're going to be expecting. You're going to be expecting green. Also, I'm hearing you're gonna be bowling I got money moves uh, uh. I'm also hearing boss lady uh, boss man mm -hmm. so you going to be your businesses if you have businesses that you've been working on they're going to go sky high okay um, yeah you're gonna be getting a lot of money moves you're gonna be guided to do a lot of money moves okay be silent about it okay but definitely a whole lot of abundance coming your way okay i'm also hearing don't overwork yourself though don't overwork yourself don't drown yourself in your work too much okay because i know some of you get a bit of you become workaholics okay say a prayer so keep praying if you're a person who prays keep praying okay if you're gonna have a child you might have a daughter a whole lot of daughters this year can't they <laughs> okay but say a prayer if you're a prayer a person who prays say a prayer keep saying your prayers your prayers are not going unanswered okay your prayers are not going unanswered your prayers are being heard so keep saying your prayers and i'm hearing your your prayers are very powerful I'm hearing you're a master manifester. Literally everything you touch turns into gold. And everything you say with your words comes to life. 
and all it takes is for you to be in the right vibration and i'm hearing you're going to be inspired to do a lot of things this year you're also going to discover a lot of gifts you didn't know you have and gifts that are going to empower other gifts i'm hearing you're a master healer Everything you do helps other people. I'm hearing your abundance is there to bless other people. So greed could be your downfall. So keep your heart in the right place, okay? Empower. Being kind to others does not mean rescuing them. Empower others by asking questions about, uh, and by asking questions that make them think and see alternatives. We all hold within the answers within us. We all hold the answers within. So exactly what I was saying to you. Exactly what I was saying to you that you're going to be making money moves. So you're going to be empowered. You're going to see um, and see other alternatives, see a lot of different ideas. Um, and you're going to empower other people. Okay. So people are going to be inspired just by looking at you. Just looking at the results of everything you're doing. I'm hearing you, you are who you say you are. <laughs> Everything you said you were going to do is happening. I'm hearing people who came against you are scared. Everyone who came against you, everybody who gave their soul away, whether it was through black magic, dark magic, whether they went around telling other people, I even see a bird. So you are divinely protected. Uh, you are divinely protected. The kind of protection that you have is immense. I'm hearing some of you have a high rank in the spirit realm. You could be a, a multi-dimensional being. You could be from out of space, out of pla um, other planets, light worker. There's a pile that actually was similar to this, but you could be because your abundance is here to bless other people the level of your purpose is very high and i think people who come against you don't understand that what they also don't understand is that this purpose is bigger than them it's bigger than you even it's bigger than you it's bigger than them that's why you can't even reject it you probably try to reject your calling you know that you're supposed to be destined to do this and this and this and this and that. And every time you try to derive from it, it will always you'd always find yourself back there. Through your experiences, you've always been led back to the same place. Because the success you're going to make out of it is going to bless other people. You are a blessing, is what I'm hearing. In disguise most of the time. You're like an angel that is hidden. You know, and I'm also hearing your people's karma, <laughs> your people's karma, your people's test. So people are getting tested through you um, and simply because of the blessing that you become in their life. So if they take that blessing for granted, it determines if they will get more or not um, simply by, by how they treat blessings that they receive and you become that example. But your purpose is huge and people underestimate that because of what they see in the physical, how they see you in the physical world. And I'm hearing that you take your time, you pace yourself, and people underestimate that. They think just because they go around doing things quickly, you know, because some people want to do things the easy way, the faster way, you know, quick results, and hence people end up going to practitioners, you know, to to get other forms of getting money through black magic is because people don't want to follow the procedure they don't want to go through the process they want to skip from the beginning from the input to the output they just want to skip the steps but you are following the steps i'm hearing you are following the steps and you've been praying your way through and trusting everything you've been praying about and people are underestimating that they think no because this hasn't happened it's never going to happen People are about to be shocked. You empower other people. You inspire other people. And keep doing what you're doing. I'm hearing keep doing what you're doing. I'm hearing you're kind to others. Okay. 
and trust that the guidance that you give people is right trust that the guidance you give people is what they need to hear okay and then here we have skills alcohol and drugs steal your skills number six so definitely a year of harmony for you okay this is again showing 2022 222 which is a six um this is definitely showing what 2022 is your year this is where your skills are unfolding people are going to see your multiple gifts people are going to be shocked like oh, he's doing this oh he's doing that too oh my god he's also doing that oh, how is he doing five different things at the same time we didn't even know they had those kind of gifts people are going to be shocked the kind of shock that might give them a stroke i'm telling you they wanted you to have a stroke though that might be for somebody they wanted to put you in a box they didn't want people to see how capable you are the variety um, of things that you can do you are a powerhouse you are a powerhouse and people didn't want you to know that because they knew they couldn't even steal your blessings they couldn't take away your destiny they wanted to delay you they wanted to slow you down they wanted you to give up to get rid of the competition i'm hearing a lot of people compete with you and they know they're not on your level because you have a high rank in the spirit realm they know that you're above them they know you'll always be better than them they know that you'll be always a hundred million billion quadrillion steps ahead of them people are actually out here trying to do you better than you and they know they'll never ever but they don't give up because they're stupid there's a time when you should know when to give up don't give up on yourself but there's a time when you should know to, when to give up, to let go, to release. When the time is up, you let it go. You move forward. But you don't give up on yourself. Okay. So there are people who are out here competing with you, trying to be do you better than you, trying to keep up with your, your goals, your dreams, your visions, your gifts your abilities everything that you're doing people are out here trying to be you period okay but you got this you were blessed for this you this is your destiny okay six of pipes so basically i'm hearing that you don't need a crowd to get to where you're going and i'm not saying that with everything that you do what you're trying to accomplish people won't be helping you definitely we need people and that's just how life is right manda thank you you're welcome gonna do it you jump in and you do it people are intimidated by that people are intimidated by that version of yourself because they know that only you don't beg they know that you're not afraid to stand alone they not they know that you're not afraid to go for what you want to go for and they know that you empower people while you do it people look up to you people will always love you there might be people trying to badmouth you. Mm, trying to put your name in the dirt. But it's not working. Maybe like, obviously people who are like them. People who are just as low vibrational as them. You know, people who go around gossiping about people will definitely jump in on the train, you know, within two seconds of, you know, whatever they say. But people who are, people who are clear-minded, people who are true to themselves, they're going to see 
they're going to know and even with that they'll be exposed so don't even worry about those people don't worry about your enemies okay don't be afraid to walk this journey alone this year you're going to you're going to learn that you can accomplish anything and everything by walking on your path walking alone on your path you are going to achieve everything that you need okay you are going to uncover a lot about yourself a lot of self-discovery six of pipes accept and receive your blessing oh this is so sweet so accept and receive your blessing so you are blessed you are a blessing accept this fact and there's a the thing <laughs> the green candle is on this again highlighting the blessing okay highlighting the blessing accept and receive the wealth the health and the growth you are abundant and your abundance is here to bless the world okay but some of you could definitely be creative in the art maybe play an instrument you probably play an instrument maybe you're in a band maybe you're just a musician in general you could be an event organizer could work in the media but I see you on stage definitely on stage um, you could be an actor on TV could be a photographer um, hearing some of you could have been working in retail and you thinking of pursuing art um, I'm gonna say pursue art while you're working so that you can empower your your creativity with the money that you make from the retail okay so whatever money that you make you can invest into your art okay so if you're asking if you're gonna be able to balance um, yes you will you'll figure it out okay um, some of you could be DJs designers IT you're good with technology work with computers yeah I'm seeing someone who works with computers a lot um, so if you have a company that helps people with computers and all of that um, it's going to succeed but most of you, whatever it is that you do, net, just because I don't mention some careers doesn't mean it's not you, net. but some, some of the things that you're going to be pursuing, they're going to, to, to be You're walking alone this journey. Probably get yourself an amethyst stone if you love amethyst or you've been called to get it. Get an amethyst. Okay, but you're a star. Amethyst, transformation, certainty, and confidence. This is you being confident, being certain. The transformation that is unfolding for you is huge and it's big and there's nothing your enemies can do about it. This is a number 41, maybe this is your age, 41, but it adds to a 5-5, five, five, which is a number of changes. So there are changes that are unfolding in your life, as it should, and it will. All the necessary transformation is happening. So be certain, be confident. This is just telling you uh, to feel empowered, to be confident, okay? introvert you're probably an introvert 
some of you okay but I'm also hearing you're probably gonna be isolating yourself a lot as you're achieving these goals okay your child so you're probably gonna have a child you might have a baby this year or conceive a baby this year um and if you already have a child you're probably going to be having or maybe your child is an introvert but you might be having a much better and stronger relationship with your child being able to provide more for your child okay make people feel safe to be themselves so you definitely make people feel safe to be themselves you make people comfortable you feel secure you make people feel secure okay whenever people are around you they feel like they can just be true they can be themselves that's why I was saying even the people that are trying to lie about you that are making rumors that are talking nonsense about you you know putting dirt in your name people that are true know who you are because you make people feel safe to be themselves because you're genuine you're honest you're true you live authentically otherwise everything else happening in your life wouldn't be going well but what makes you authentic is the fact that you are here to 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 share your abundance with the world you're here to empower people with your abundance and that's how people know that um this is who you are this is how they know that you're being authentic because of the goodness that you embody and the love that you carry in your heart for other people not everybody makes people feel safe to be themselves it's not an easy thing to do you'd have to have self-love for that because when you have self-love you feel safe enough to be yourself around people even if people don't make it safe for you but you are able to be expressive and be honest and be true to yourself being authentic everywhere you go having confidence and being certain about yourself not being afraid to stand alone if people turn on you you're not afraid to stand on your own so this is how people know because they know you're not afraid to stand on your own you know you you don't get phased or shaken by what people say you still keep going you still achieve your goals you still keep discovering yourself you keep helping other people who receive your help so pile number eight I hope I made that very clear for you. Okay. So this year is you defeating your enemies. You defeating your enemies this year. And not even intentionally. This is them feeling defeated for coming against you. Because they didn't know who you are. They didn't realize who you are. They underestimated who you are. They were trying to disturb what was written in the stars. What was destined by the divine they were trying to steal your destiny to delay you to take that away from you to steal your blessings not understanding that what you're given is not for you it's for everybody it's for the world because what you're doing you're doing great things imagine imagine coming in and trying to take away something from someone that they were destined to do you're trying to take away a life path from someone who was destined to bless the world do you think God is gonna let you do that do you think you can fool God do you think that person's ancestors are gonna let you do that you're disturbing the plan hell no okay so your enemies are gonna be feeling defeated this year um, while they watch you win, they're gonna watch you win. they're gonna watch you succeed um, they can't do anything they'll feel defeated while you empower, empower other people so you're going to literally change the lives of many people you're definitely changing lives this year you're changing so many lives may god take care of you and bless you you're such a blessing um thank you pal number eight okay now we're going to life part nine Okay. Life part nine.
life path number nine ah uh, i also forgot to read for number eight ay, ay, ay. okay so it's fine i'll go back and i'll read for them life path number nine Okay, let me write these down so that I remember. Read. Okay, number nine, as the final, as the final single digit with numerology, nine connect, connotes, okay, an old soul, nine is no stranger life's up and downs of life, been there, done that, accordingly, accordingly nine can effortlessly synthesize large quantities of stimuli, physically connecting the dots to form a cohesive whole the mission for nine is to reach its highest state of consciousness to help others also achieve the spiritual awareness nine isn't afraid to transform and its male malleable spirit inspires others to explore their own ra ranges of motion since nine in many ways has transcended the physical plane it must constantly remember to anchor itself. Nine must learn to balance the abstract with the tangible, ultimately finding its place at the intersection of fantasy and reality. Okay. Okay. So, life path number nine. Yeah, like it highlighted. Um, been there, done that. Okay, you've been... You've been through the storms. Okay, you've been through the endings. You've definitely been experiencing a lot of those tower moments. I'm hearing some of you probably the last two years from 2020. Um, you've been getting hit a lot. And you felt like you were at a point where you don't know how to get up, okay? But this year, this year is your blessing in disguise. You're definitely getting up. Okay, you're definitely getting up, okay? There is nothing to fear. Look at that. There is nothing to fear. Okay. So whatever it is that hit you in the last two years, okay, um, knocked you down, made you feel like you couldn't get up, okay, I'm here to tell you that there's no reason to fear. All those things are falling off. And you've reached the stage, like I said, you're at the finish line, number 10. You're at the stage where those things don't have power over you anymore okay and this is so crazy because pile number nine was talking about you raising the consciousness of people okay and this is saying group consciousness that is so wild whose story um sorry whose story are you buying into check what you call reality or think you know own and express your own view and opinion especially when it differs from the majority okay so you definitely the guy or the girl the person who's been through like they said in the reading that I had read that has been through it all done it all okay you went through the different phases of you know transformation of life itself um, you've went every part you've went through a lot of endings for you to have knowledge and wisdom about what to do going forward so right now you are the person who has a lot of wisdom and you probably grown a whole lot of courage through everything that has happened to you okay but you're the person who raises people's consciousness you bring awareness upon people's lives you share wisdom and knowledge that changes the perspective of people so you are literally the person who stands out in terms of 
you don't go with the crowd right but in a way where the crowd listens to you so i'm also hearing don't just take anything and everything from people okay you need to listen to what you are guided to take and what you are guided to leave behind because you already know what you need to do you already know what will serve you and what doesn't okay and i'm also hearing that um you don't only teach people based on opinion you teach people based on different perspective different opinions different like you're a person who will accommodate everyone so you could be in a circle sharing conversation You're going to make them um, have a different perspective, perhaps, in the way that they perceive the situation. And not taking, taking them away from the opinion, but also just adding to the opinion in a way that guides them. In a way where they can also say, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Okay. So, but you are the person who raises consciousness in people. You awaken people. You bring awareness. You amplify their opinions to have a light. Hmm. Very interesting. Slowly, um, drugs and alcohol slowly destroy your mind. So you could be a male figure, or you could have a very masculine energy. And then we're talking about... I'm hearing you have a very wild imagination. I'm hearing that um, try not in your mind a lot because it could slowly destroy your wisdom, your knowledge, or just generally destroy you um, in the way that you go about teaching other people. Okay, because you have to be open-minded, you have to be understanding, you have to be adaptable, you have to be very non-judgmental to be able to a group of different people. And while at it, raising everybody's consciousness. Okay. So be careful of your thoughts. Um try not to lose yourself don't have an ego because you are raising people's consciousness so people admire the way you think um you're definitely an old soul but what i'm saying is don't let your mind destroy you okay and also don't let the opinions of other people destroy you what people try to feed your mind don't that's why they said whose story are you buying into is it your story or someone else's story okay so don't let the opinions of other people destroy you don't let your mind destroy you i'm hearing you're an overthinker totem of stones totem of stones i'm hearing there's a lot of snakes in your circle or they used to be rats too so you used to have a lot of people around you that just wanted to come and suck in the knowledge suck in the wisdom and then they go outside and they use it as if it's theirs people would take your ideas and go use them for their own benefit people would come and listen to you oh what what does you so some of your haters came to learn from you just so they can copy you crazy right So literally some of your haters, they came around you because they saw that you had so much knowledge that whatever you do, it raises the consciousness of other people, groups listen to you, you know, all of that. Then they were like, okay, we're going to copy this guy. We're going to take what they teach and go outside and go teach it as if it's our own. And trust me, they don't do it like you. If anything, they are sharing misinformation. And they're sharing information without even understanding it themselves. Yeah, but there are a lot of people who are crawling. While you, while you were standing tall, walking your path, 
you know other people were crawling you couldn't even see them they were just those people peeping you know listening gossiping trying to find information just stalking your page um your social media page um you know all of that stuff um but i'm hearing if you're a person who likes collecting stones or crystals definitely go for it i'm hearing you might like reptiles maybe some of you do like reptiles maybe you do like snakes um maybe your spirit animal is a snake um thank you <coughs> Totem of stones. Be a keeper of earth. Recycle. Okay, maybe you do like recycling. Okay, but you are... being yourself and following in your path okay trust that nights wind facing fear subconscious release and healing okay so like i said don't let your mind fool you don't let your mind um or the opinions of other people get to you okay so releasing subconscious release what is in your subconscious facing that fear you or people won't value what you have to say or your opinion doesn't matter to other people uh. they're saying it does it's just some of them pretend like it does information that you have and pretend like it's theirs so some people won't congratulate you they won't give you the credit they won't pat you on the back because they are the snakes in the grass they don't see them okay But you're going to be going through a lot of that healing. You're going to be healing that. Um, you're going to continuously raise the consciousness of many people. Okay. Groups are going to be listening to you. People are going to be watching you. People are going to be listening. People would want to, will want to know what you have to say. Because what you say matters. Because they know what you, the knowledge that you share. It makes a difference in their lives. People will want to hear your opinion. People will be asking your opinion all the time. You know. People want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay, this is a number 23, adds to a 5. So those are the changes that are, that are going to be happening. You're going to be changing people's lives. You're going to be motivating people to change their own lives. Okay. Okay, let's see. It says respect and uh, respected and respectful. You see what I mean? Everybody, let's, everybody wants to hear. What, everybody wants to hear what you want to say. What's the knowledge that they have? They respect you. Even your enemies respect you. People who look down on you or pretend like they don't care about what you're saying, but they go and they pretend like it's their knowledge. They respect you. They respect your work. They respect your purpose, strong and str uh, courage and strength. You see, you have to have the courage and the strength. There is nothing to fear. You were given this purpose for a reason because you're capable. Even your life path explained. Go and read it again. Your life path explained that you raise the consciousness of other people. You show people which path to go because of your experiences. The wisdom that you get is because of the things you've went through. You are living testimony, basically. You, guys, I cannot lie. You elevate others. Sometimes my own readings freak me out. <laughs> But for real, 
I've been saying this, you elevate others. You raise the consciousness of other people. You create universal shifts with your teachings. So don't be worried if people misuse it or if they'll use it the right way. That's not your job. It's their job. It's other people's job what they use, what they do with the information you give them. Your job is to just make sure that you do what you need to do. Teach, guide, share, help those who receive your help. Okay, so have the courage and the strength to go forward. You are respected and you elevate others. Okay, so this year, that's exactly what you're going to be experiencing. You're going to be seeing that part of yourself. Okay, it's going to be highlighted immensely. All right, thank you so much, Pal9. Now, we are going to... Okay, so now we are going to the master numbers. Woo! Okay. So we're going to go to master number 11. Okay. Life path master number 11. Okay, so we're going to life path master number 11. Um, okay, so let me explain it like this, since these are the special kits, right? <laughs> um, life path master number 11. Your number, your master number adds to a number 2. Okay, so the information that you hear now is... Um, will be also an addition on life path number two so if your master number 11 i advise that you check this one out and then you go and you check out life path number two because technically it, it adds up to that life path when it comes to a single digit but because you are special in terms of your master number which is 11 then it does highlight certain things about you that could make you different in general okay so Didn't even like the song Kaiomi. Okay, let me get started because I forgot to kind of like write 
for these ones okay so life path master number 11 okay I put a J for y'all because I don't have 11 <laughs> I don't have a card you know numbered 11 all right so yeah let me read for you guys okay master number 11 master number 11 revs up the energy of number two its purpose is to heal the self and others through elevated psychic abilities often number master number 11 intuitive gifts are a result of extreme life circumstances master number 11 has no choice but to cultivate extrasensory talents in numerology number master number 11 is connected to spiritual enlightenment awareness and philosophical balance okay so you guys are very philosophical <laughs> Just your existence is philosophical okay but like i said go to pile number two which is life path number two and get more enlightenment about yourself as a collective okay but let's see what messages we have here don't let others make you feel bad okay don't make others make you feel bad like i said y'all are special and don't make other pe people make you feel less than special don't let other people tell you otherwise okay don't make people make you feel bad about yourself don't allow people to underestimate you and make you underestimate yourself if people in your circle look down on you get rid of them we are what we eat we are what we surround ourselves with we are what we do okay so if you are surrounded by people like that that encourage you to do things that you don't want to do that you know make you feel out of place or feel like you don't fit in or feel awkward or feel weird and the bad kind of weird you know and then remove yourself that's not your soul tribe that's not your circle of friends okay don't be around people that make you feel bad you deserve better than that you're special i mean you must number 11. <laughs> um creation there is an infinite amount of possibilities to create this is a message for you to be open to receive and explore new ideas and opportunities okay so you're quite a creator you're very creative you have a very creative nature um you probably get a lot of creative ideas like this light bulb here you get quite a lot of creative ideas so you are destined to create that's what i'm saying don't make people feel you bad make you feel bad some people might want to um make you feel like what the things you say don't matter and they do <clears throat> your ideas matter some people just downplay downplay them because they don't want you to be more successful than them some people are just afraid of what you're capable of they're afraid of your potential okay there's no ending to your your genius ideas people are scared of that so you're quite a genius i'm hearing you you're a genius you have brilliant ideas you're a creator um there's infinite amount of possibilities when you're around so i'm hearing you're also a magnet for abundance so you literally attract a whole lot of okay let me start like this you go, you can be around people and think that you get opportunities through people right and think that oh um Svanbani is the person when i'm around them i get opportunities and it's actually the other way around so people will make you feel bad just so that you think they are your blessing so that they make you feel like they are your lucky charm so that you feel like they are the ones you depend on for opportunities or whatever it is so people want you to feel bad so that the, you think um they're the ones who do everything for you whereas you're actually the creator so you're actually the lucky charm wherever you go opportunities arise just being merely around you being in your presence people get lucky and people notice but they won't tell you for as long as you don't know who you are right but your presence is a blessing you are so magnetic you are so abundant literally you see how this person is touching this light bulb and it lit like the light bulb wouldn't even need to be connected to electricity you would touch the light bulb and the light bulb switches on that's how powerful of a creator you are okay so people 
want you to feel bad so that you don't see what a blessing you are to them so that you think it's the other way around you are literally a lucky charm you are a magnet for blessings and opportunities there is literally infinite it literally says infinite amount of possibilities so every time you are around people and people got opportunities got blessings got you know ble uh, jobs and whatever when you are around and it felt like oh why not me but everybody i'm around is getting blessed it's because you're the blessing <laughs> your mere presence people just being around you and some people even you they're like okay i know if i'm not getting this interview or things are not going right i just need usman money to be around me i need this guy to come around me to feed on the energy and i know for sure that everything is going go is gonna go right i know that's what people say they're like i know i know that everything is going to go right if i'm around this person because you're so magnetic you have you have that power you have that light okay you literally change things around for people okay number five number of changes say no to drugs so say no to people that make you feel bad please don't let people make you look down on yourself don't let people make you feel insecure you are who you think you are okay and people are trying so bad to make you feel like you depend on them and actually it's the other way around people depend on your energy i'm not even talking about physical things i'm talking about your energy you have a very powerful you are literally this light bulb you're a creator and people know this they, they see that every time you're around good things happen things fall into place okay so say no to people that are trying to take advantage of you that are trying to use you that are trying to make you feel bad okay um that are trying to change you to fit their own description or whatever they want you to be because some people will want you to be their slave because of the amount of power you have they will want to enslave you so that everything you do works in their favor okay but definitely this year is a year of changes this is where you change your perspective and you see yourself for who you are okay this is the year where you get to see your power take back your power seven of stones this is you taking your power back you have the blessings you are the blessing this is the year where you take your power back okay this is the year where people are going to be blessing you according to the blessings that you've given so all the energy that people took and fed on while you are not aware that you were the lucky charm you were the magnet you were the creator you were the light okay you were the blessing the whole time when you didn't see all of this okay it's going to be returned i'm hearing what what is lost will be returned tenfold hundredfold millionfold everything that you lost is coming back to you every blessing that people other people received using your energy it's going to come back tenfold for real you are the blessing here the whole time you carried all the blessings you in the physical you look like you had nothing but in the spirit you were the blessing your energy was the creator you created opportunities and possibilities for people just being around them just having a conversation even having a joint even having um you know a beer just your mere presence I know people who've done that they would just come around you because they know if i go around usman bani i know that this this deal this um business deal is gonna seal and it does and it does seal the business seals when i the whole time you're thinking oh they just like it oh it's their hard work oh it's what you know this person is good at oh it's their blessing no you are the blessing the person knew just to come to you to feed and collect your good luck your good charm okay and then go and it, and it worked out for them but all of that will be returned to you trust me it's like one 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 so it's one eleven so 
See? New beginnings are unfolding for you. Everything that you deserve is coming back. Tenfold, hundredfold, millionfold, whatever fold you want to call it. Okay? The message. Positive news, positive outcomes. Hi, this is your year. See? You are the lucky charm. You are the blessing. You are the lucky charm. You are the person that magnifies people's lives. You give opportunities without realizing. You light up people's paths without noticing. You to life for people without even noticing. Okay? So you are the gift. You are the golden ticket. People see you as a golden ticket. And you don't even see it. So start acting according. That's what I'm saying. Don't let people feel make you feel bad. You are who you think you are. You might be 28 or your birthday, but this adds to a number 10, okay? Number 10, like I said, you're at the finish line. This is your time. Okay, T 10 adds to a 1, and it was literally 1, 1, 1, like three ones. So maybe go look up that number, what the ones mean. And you actually master number 11, wild. Just, it just clicked. <laughs> you master number 11, and it was 11. And now this card is number 10, which is a one. Whew, my head is hot. <laughs> but you are, yeah, no, this is a confirmation. So you're going to be getting positive news and positive outcomes. Everything that you deserve is coming to you tenfold, hundredfold, millionfold, all of the fold. Everything that was taken is being replaced. Hey, hey this group two, four, five, I, why do you guys have five? You guys have five of these. Other children had three. One was surprising and the other group was surprising. It had four. Now you guys have five. Like, okay. <laughs> um, raise vibration, you see? You have a high vibration. You have a high vibration. You help other people's vibration rise. And simply with your high vibration... You make other people's realities um, better. You unlock doors for people. Oh wait, Seven of Stones, I didn't read this. Seven of Stones, reap a bountiful harvest. I mean, you're about to reap a bountiful harvest. You're about to reap a bountiful harvest. Everything you lost is coming tenfold. Everything you're trying to achieve is going to multiply. You're going to be receiving good news after good news after good news. Positive news with positive outcomes. I'm telling you. Because once you raise your vibration, you go high as, as high as this dove. So keep raising your vibration, keep doing what you're doing. And don't even hold on or focus on the things that people do, the people that try to make you feel bad. Don't focus on people who are trying to bring you down, people trying to slow you down. Just get rid of them and move on. Say no. No, thank you. Bye. Fixed signs. Leo, Scorpio. Aquarius, so you could be any of these. Independent, yeah. You're very independent. You've never depended on anyone, even when you thought you were. People depended on you. People depended on you. People depended on your energy. Perfectionist. Mmm. You're definitely a perfectionist. I will, I will kill you, fly. I don't like flies. I kill them. Perfectionist. Okay. Creativity, Kundalini energy. So you're very creative. Like I said, guys, the cards don't lie. Creation, creativity. So whatever it is that you are, you, you're going to try and accomplish in terms of your creative nature, 
understand that you will succeed no matter what it is that you do. So research what Kundalini energy is and follow, a, create a routine. Rise 10 times higher than all these people that ever fed on your energy so that you can rise to a level that they will never reach ever and all the right people will, will unfold in your life you will attract all the necessary people who will help you rise and will rise with you okay all righty okay so definitely go and check out pile two which is life path number two okay all right and now we are going to life path master number 22. okay this is what pile number pile number 11. okay master number 22. okay i just put a queen for it because i don't i don't have a number 12. Let's read. Master number 22, often referred to as a master builder, expands on the vibration of number 4. Master number 22 is inspired to create platforms in the physical realm that transcend immediate realities by infusing the tangible and intangible. Master number 22 cultivates a dynamic long-term legacy. Master number 22's skills are usually byproduct of early childhood instability that fuels innovative thought. Industrious, creative, and dependable. Master number 22 is always on a mission to transform. Wow, okay. Alrighty, like I'm hoping the whole time that I'm reading, <laughs> I'm hoping the whole time that I'm reading, you guys actually get to like hear. Cause me, I might be thinking, cause now I'm reading from my computer. I'm opening from one tab to another. So, but anyway, it's too late for that now. I'm three hours in it. So, hey, all right. So, if you are a master number twenty-two you add to a number four okay so you're gonna have to go to pile number four uh, which is life path four and then see what messages they also have for you because um this is only highlighting your master number um what makes you special but you are life path number four so go ahead and check it out and see what else they have for you there no need to worry don't worry like there's so many positive messages today like Kuri, like the divine is with us, is with all of us. You know, no need to worry. You have no reason to worry, okay? If you're having a child, might be a baby girl. Okay, no need to worry. Okay, so no need to worry at all. Crystal energy. Crystals are gifts from the earth and help regulate and stabilize your energy as they vibrate at a constant frequency. Intellect, in, intuitively select crystals to work and play with. So you might be someone who loves crystals.
Okay, number five. Five is the number of changes. I don't care if dependency is a disease, a sin, or a crime. It's still. Hey, wait now. I don't care if dependency is a disease, a sin, it's still a heavy burden. Okay, I'm hearing that you probably felt burdened by a lot of things. Maybe a lot of people depend on you. Maybe a lot of people depend on you. Okay, um, you felt like you've had a lot of responsibilities i'm hearing there's no need to worry okay that's going to be taken care of and i'm hearing that pe it's going to be people's turn to take care of you so if you've been taking care of a lot of people people are going to be taking care of you now okay all the burden that is on your shoulders the weight is going to be lifted okay people are going to lighten your weight so all the right people will be you've struggled for so long so the changes that will be coming will bring ways that will um, lessen your burden and make things easier for you. okay four of stones so I'm also hearing that start doing things that you're good at some things that you love okay just to lighten your own weight but definitely get those crystals or you could be someone who makes crystal necklaces jewelry you could be using gemstones or crystals to make jewelry okay but you could be a creator in terms of like making things with your hands I'm a you could be someone who cooks maybe you started a, biz a cooking business um yeah maybe you're a creator you make things bags clothes food jewelry pottery um i had a, i had seen uh, i had seen this for the other group i'm not sure if it's the same i'm going to scream if it is this way i'm going to scream okay it's not <laughs> but you're definitely a creator okay um some of you i'm hearing you could be like nurses or a doctor mm. you could be also working in the justice system maybe like okay i don't know about a lawyer but if you're starting to do law and you want to be a lawyer that's probably something you can achieve um But I was gonna say something else. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, police! I was hearing someone who works in the security system. So if you work with security, some of you could be like hikers. You could like hiking in the mountains. Or you should go hiking in the mountains but you create things you create things with your hands you heal people with your hands you could be um, you could massage people or you could be a herbalist okay um, that's what I'm getting but yeah you know your careers guys um but definitely do what it is that you love what you're good at okay you're definitely going to uh, succeed in all of this like i said people are going to be taking care of you this year so you don't really have to be worrying much about the burdens of other people don't worry about how am i gonna how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do that oh but this person needs me i'm always the breadwinner i'm always this i'm always that this year people are going to be taking care of you okay if it's not directly the people you've been taking care of you meet people who are going to make life easier for you okay easy enough for you to start doing what you love to be comfortable in what you love can you see how calm this person is 
okay so that you have time for yourself because i'm hearing you haven't really had time to yourself okay four of stones establish basic self-sufficiency exactly so you need to start doing things that make you happy things that um empower you okay things that make you smile make you happy okay it's not okay to be grumpy all the time in life you're always unhappy okay it's that's not how life should be all right so this here is more about taking care of you taking care of yourself and definitely other people are going to support you in taking care of yourself because they're going to make sure they take of you take care of you in return okay everything you ever did for other people it's going to happen for you okay people are going to make life easier intuitive communication silent whispers of the heart this is number 43 which is a seven okay so there's going to be a flow happening in your life And you're going to be receiving intuitive communication. So you're going to know who the right people are, um, who are the right people that you're meant to keep in your life. I'm her you're highly, highly intuitive. And if I'm not mistaken, that's exactly what it said in the reading. You're intuitive. Um, and you need to listen to your intuition. Silent whispers of the heart. Listen to your heart do what makes you happy follow your heart where your height where your heart guides you that's where you're destined to be okay so this year you're going to be learning a lot about listening to yourself trusting yourself believing in yourself doing more for yourself okay you see this love this heart there this is this is you okay Clean your space, house often. Okay. Clean your space or your house often. Okay. So this also goes with the crystal energy. Okay. Where you also get to like get yourself some crystals that can help cleanse your space. So if you've interacted with negative people or people are trying to save negative energy into your house, it cleanses it. Okay. So you can be someone who uses different um smudging processes maybe sage and palisanto or, or what do you call them incense or da, 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 you know or maybe you just have a specific ritual that you even use just for yourself in your own home or herb that you use to cleanse your space okay so continue doing what you're doing your space is highly highly um highlighted your space matters so this is creating heaven in your own space and anyone who comes in your space is there to amplify the amount of um the amount of self-care that you're doing so anyone who comes to your pace, space it has to be someone who's going to care for you as much as you care for yourself not someone who expects for you to take care of them okay give a good give good advice or guidance yes you've been showing people the way for so long and you have you give people good guidance um you give people give uh give good advice and guidance because you have an intuition that communicates very strongly so people trust your intuition so use your intuition to your advantage you're very magical okay and I'm hearing that magical things are about to unfold for you. Magical things are about to unfold for you. Okay. There are magical changes coming in your life. And all of this starts with self-care, self-love, self-awareness. Give to yourself first. You've given so much to many other people. So give to yourself. Oh. Guys, I'm not in the mood to pick up anything. All right. Thank you, um, Pile 12. Okay. Now I'm going to go to... Wait. No, Pile 11. My God. <laughs> I just confused my piles. Pile 11.
thank you so much guys let's go to the next pile and the last one the best for last okay pile number 12 Yes, it's pile number 12. Pile number 12. Which is Life Path Master number 33. Okay. Life Path Master number 33. Okay, which is the last one. All right. Huh, let's see what they have to say. Okay, Master Number Life Path 33. It is a good idea for the it is a good idea for the Master Number 33 avatar to take up professions where nurturing and caring is to be employed. This makes them natural at being brokers, police, priests, sales persons, teachers, waitresses, nurses, and psychologists. This is because those born under 33 are highly sensitive to the needs of others. They have an intuitive sense of spiritual requirements of people along with a firm grasp on what each soul needs in order to prosper better. This is what truly helps them in understanding and aiding people around them. This can, however, lead to a sense of burden and smothering in those who engage in aiding others for too long okay okay so master number 33 I gave you guys a K because I ain't I don't have number 12 I mean number 12 yet um, but if you are pile if you are life path number 33 okay you add up to a number six so you should go to pile number six which is life path number six okay and see what other information there is there for you okay but this is just to highlight special attributes about you because you are special all right sleep and rest okay you need to sleep and you need to rest. Maybe you've been working way too hard. So you need to sleep and you need to rest. I'm going to kill this fly. <laughs> I'm just waiting to finish this video. Then it's going down. <laughs> um, see the signs. We are always being provided with signs from the universe. You just need to stay awake to receive them. Trust your intuition to recognize the sign and receive the message and guidance. Okay, so you've been given many signs throughout and throughout. You are being given signs, you're being given guidance, and you just need to listen so you can follow. Okay, but you need to sleep and you need to rest right now. I think you've overworked yourself. You've pushed too hard. You've been doing as the number was talking about you helping others and feeling smothered by doing too much. So you literally need to sleep and you need to rest. And, you know, not that sleep takes away everything, but maybe you've been overworking yourself. Okay. And maybe you need to kind of like back off a little bit from pushing too hard with helping people. Don't try to be the saver here, okay? So see the signs. When your body gives you signs that it's tired, please listen. Spirit, when your spirit gives you signs that it needs rest, please listen. Don't push too hard. Don't go too far. Just to accommodate other people more than yourself, all right? Um, but you're doing great. I'm hearing you've been doing great work, okay? Um you probably been going through a lot of healing because working with people requires you to do the work on yourself first you know yeah. the alcohol and free free drug free mind is nature at its best yeah. okay so you probably love flowers or you should get yourself flowers 
and also do some gardening you i've been seeing a lot of people who love nature so maybe this year is just really about connecting with nature being one with nature you know doing a lot of things that actually connect you to nature itself grounding yourself okay the doing the little things that matter okay taking that walk playing with animals going to a park um you know whatever it is going to a, a game reserve um okay i don't know about a zoo but i don't in, i don't like zoos because i don't like how they set up and how the animals feel when they're in there but maybe you do like zoos so you can go for it you know what i mean um but you need rest and they're saying a mind that is rested okay is a mind that is at its best so you do your best when you give yourself a break okay so remember to give yourself a break don't overwork yourself don't push too hard don't put other people first when you need to put yourself okay blend yeah and i actually wanted to talk about you going to water but that's another thing that's been highlighted in so many of these piles is water so i'm guessing this is a year of cleansings this is definitely a year of cleansing so cleansings are going to be probably major in your life you're going to take um you know those salt baths by yourself those different color salts and put it in your bath and relax you know before you go to sleep just to cleanse off the energies that are weighing you down okay use body oils whatever it is aromas into your space that smell good okay herbs that make you feel good that cleanse your system your body okay eat your fruits and your veggies okay so i'm also hearing change your diet change your diet change the way you eat Okay, so this is number 14 which is a five Woo! you know at five number five has been showing up through so consistent so this is also just highlighting as a collective as a people as a collective there are immense changes happening for all of us so there's definitely changes happening in your life um temptress or temperance temperance temp your temptress temperance your temptress is actually a a demon in disguise so you could have someone who is a temptress there'll be people that will test you that will tempt you to um go the wrong direction and this also goes with saying that be careful not to extend yourself too too much doing too much for people that you end up draining too much from yourself because there are people who are temptresses who are there to um de be deceitful lie um stab you in the back do all of that stuff so you need to be careful because you're such a helping hand because you do a lot for people people watch that and they take advantage so be careful of temptresses don't extend yourself too much okay So this year is about blending blending your life between the people that you help blending your life between the people that you help and yourself okay so you're balancing yourself balancing your life balancing everything you do so you're balancing your personal life and your your outside life okay so you need to balance your connections to say that okay this is the part where i extend myself and then you're like okay thank you very much now i'm going back into my shell going back into my space okay you could also be a sagittarius so know when to not overextend yourself but definitely be one with water take those baths take those showers after a long day 
okay go to a pool go to an ocean go to a river if you're a person who does rituals in water all right that's cool too <laughs> throw those coins collect sea water okay let's see what this says Blend, it is time to integrate the best of the unknown with the new ideas you are gathering from the unknown. Wait, it is time to integrate the best of the known with the new ideas you are gathering from the unknown. Give yourself time to process your experience. Okay, so, well, I was highlighting that blend yourself from your personal life and your interpersonal life, like outside, okay, outside of yourself. So this is something you're going to have to create an adjustment. You, um, the right word I was looking for is boundaries. So this year you're going to be creating boundaries. You're going to learn how to create boundaries with people. You're going to learn to stand firm on those boundaries. Okay. And they're saying, give yourself time to process the experience. Okay, so you're not expected to get it right on the first goal. You're not expected to be perfect on the first goal. But it's definitely going to happen. People um, are going to be forced to respect your boundaries as soon as you stand firm on your boundaries. Okay. Tree of life, number one. Okay. Tree of life, fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. So you're definitely going to be getting a lot of magical blessings coming your way. You're definitely going to be um, like fertile in all that you do. So the seeds that you plant, but definitely I'm hearing change your diet. things out for yourself okay okay don't be afraid to explore new ideas your creativity that also said don't be afraid to explore the known with the unknown okay and balancing them out so express your creative nature um, continue to grow in your creativity with how you help other people okay how you work with other people this is your destiny okay this is definitely your destiny and your destiny is bringing you magical blessings but definitely be around nature you see the tree be around nature go out You're going to get the signs about where you're going, how to go about it. The fruition of your, 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 your seeds. Grateful to meet you. Lots of people are grateful to meet you. People are grateful for you. Because of how you extend yourself. Intelligent. You're very intelligent. And you're going to use a lot of that intelligence this year. Those brilliant ideas. Oh, look. Love your ideas and imagination. Oh, Bantuke. Oil. But anyway, love your ideas and imagination. So definitely explore your creativity. Explore those new ideas because those new ideas are going to bring even bigger blessings, better blessings. Okay. You're going to be balancing out the unknown and the known. You're going to be blending um, and finding balance in between your personal life and the outside. 
but definitely do what you need to do to take care of yourself be one with nature eat better rest okay exercise do yoga go shopping to make yourself feel good whatever it is that you need go hiking you know go skiing ice skating you know and go karting do some nice activities that make you active but that don't require you to be doing things for other people this is about you having fun living in the moment okay alrighty but people love your ideas and your imagination because you are someone who is always accommodative of other people people are grateful to meet you okay this year that's exactly you're going to see that you're going to feel it it's going to be multiplied you're going to get so many magical blessings just from what you do just being who you are okay all righty thank you um pal number 12 okay what i am going to do what i'm going to do is oh i'm going to read for the other piles that i forgot to read for okay and then i'm going to add the timestamp um next to their number in case somebody wanted to actually hear it and didn't okay this was pile number two i forgot to read for pile number two Okay, pile number two, uh, master uh, life t life path number two, the master. <sighs> huh? ah! I'm reading so many different things here. It's because I'm seeing different numbers. Okay, pile number two, which is life path number two. The number two is linked to sensitivity, balance, and harmony within numerology. The two vibration um assumes the role of a me of the mediator creating harmony by bringing together dissonant forces through compassion empathy and kindness two is linked to psychic abilities and intuition and if this number appears as a life path or destiny number the individual will be astute to subtle energy shifts and emotional okay i have no idea what that word means is it new newness nonance okay guys anyway because two is so sensitive it is very conflict averse and can end up feeling underappreciated or acknowledged unacknowledged two must avoid seeking external validation and instead realize that perfect equilibrium needed already exists within them all right all right um let me see something and i think what i forgot in case pal number two wanted to know what okay in case pal number two wanted to know yeah in case pal number two wanted to know you know that mini paragraph about themselves that's it but I'm definitely going to be putting these up as well, eh? I'm going to be putting them underneath the reading. I'll put that stuff up. Feel free, guys, to research. Okay. Thank you, Pal2, <laughs> for watching twice. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to Pile 8, Life Path number 8. Okay, life path number eight. Eight is all about abundance. Within numerology, this number is linked to material wealth and financial success. Ambitious and goal-orientated. Eight can effortlessly assume leadership uh, position through its natural magnetism. Eight applies big picture thinking to broaden its scope, racing up the top of any ladder to reach extraordinary heights but with great power comes great responsibility aid breeds workaholic and on a bad day can become excessively um, controlling and possessive 
However, its negative qualities can be lessened by giving back to the community, by using this success to help others. Eight realizes that there is nothing more valuable than contributing to the greater good. And that's exactly what I said. Your abundance um, is there to bless other people. So your abundance is definitely there to bless other people. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I think I did everyone. Eh? I really think, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everybody for watching. If anybody um, was part of the reading or came after or even now you're watching it at your own time. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, it means the world to me. <laughs> and it... It makes me happy to do all these readings for everybody, okay? So, yeah, thank you so much. And I can't wait to share my next topic. I can't wait to share my next topic. It's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to tell you now. I'm not going to tell you now. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin the surprise, okay? But thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you for being patient with my long, chatty self. Thank you for listening to every word and I hope it contributes healing and clarity into your life. I hope that it comforts you to know that um, there is someone out there who cares, okay? And really, I'm doing this from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, I have so much adrenaline. You know, right now, I could literally run up a mountain the way I'm so excited for all of these piles. Okay. So thank you so much guys. Take care, take care and have a beautiful 2022, especially this February with all these amazing portals happening. Guys, use advantage of it. Go do your prayers, go do your meditation, go do your cleansings. Um, do whatever it is that you need to do spiritually, even if it's something traditional within your bloodline that you need to sort out. Go do everything that you need to do just so that you can... Um, get yourself 10 steps ahead enough for you to actually receive your blessing okay because sometimes what holds us back is the things that we don't do um more than the things that we do um so guys i'm i'm sending you all the love and all the blessings um i wish you all the best and trust yourself trust your intuition trust your power um and trust that you are divinely guided trust that you are divinely favored trust that you are divinely protected as you go through this journey okay god will never give you something you can never handle the divine loves you the divine is taking care of you and love yourself and take care of yourself Mwah.